All right, I'm still on the hunt for the perfect Monster Mash remix, but tonight I'm bringing you guys a Monster Mash of my own. Let's go. First day of Mortuary's Assistant, welcome back in. Happy Tuesday. And yes, I went for this like, I guess it's not really Frankenstein's Bride. It's kind of like What's Frankenstein. Up? What's up? It's kind of like Frankenstein's Bride meets, I put together a little bit of Frankenstein itself, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, seriously, welcome back in. Happy Tuesday. I also felt like I had to go just a little bit. I'm going to move this down so it doesn't like take space. Hold on. Ah. Um, yeah, I thought I had to go like a little bit more all out. <sighs> okay. <laughs> all right. We're starting out like this. My last day of the week, and we're starting out like this. Frankenstein's college fun. <laughs> no, I wanted to go for like a combination because Frankenstein's bride actually doesn't have like the green like he does. Like, okay. And so I just did this like combination. I don't know. A lot of my looks, like, I'm taking inspiration for um, some other finds that I've found, so some other pictures I found on the internet, but then kind of done my own spin on it. So. Her first gray hair, who knew it would make <laughs> All right, Fox, all right. Thank you so much for the continual support for 35 months in a row and Halloween kills. I'm holding you to it. Seriously, look, this is not my first gray. That's the saddest part about all of this. This isn't the first gray hair. <laughs> Stupid, what's up? Well, welcome in. Welcome back in, I should say. Jinkman, welcome back in. Rooney, welcome back in. Persoko, hello. Soup, hi. Unknown, welcome back in. Zorak, I know, I still have to change the file. I know I haven't done it yet. I need to, I need to. Luna Lady, what's up? Welcome in. I actually really like the green. I honestly, I there's something about the green eyeshadow that I feel like is just a lot of fun. Although sometimes it gives me a little bit of like a toxic kind of feeling. Oh, like a toxic kind of look or something. Again, unknown welcome back in. Zen, welcome back in. Union, are you guys ready to get spooky? Yeah, and look at this. Like I even went as far as like doing the whole like, isn't that what they do in mortuaries, I believe? But like doing the autopsy or something. So I went all out for today. Six string, what's up? Welcome back in. Where are you getting all these cool makeup designs from? I'm doing a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and then doing my own little flair to it so that's where I do like a combination of a couple things oh yes poison ivy would be super cool also real KV what's up welcome back in J -Rod. I'm a cowboy J Rod welcome back in actually I have to be careful because I use this like sticky blood stuff to like have it stick especially with the I am so happy I actually didn't think I was gonna be able to do the stitches and then and then <laughs> What ended up happening was I was looking around my stuff for something like I didn't have string or anything just to create the stitches wound. Just a flesh wound, but I found these like little tiny Hair ties that I forgot that I got for another kind of costume earlier I think when I was playing God of War I did like really tiny braids in my hair and yes So I just like cut them up and was able to like piece it together like stitches I actually loved how this turned out so again welcome back in and happy Tuesday I don't know what to expect at all I haven't seen any like honestly I haven't seen anything about this other than a creepy figure giving me blue knees vibes so I'm not looking forward to that haunting in my dreams the next couple weeks I don't know if you guys were here if you were here for I'm trying to open this real quick if you guys were here for Madison I while I love horror games, and I love specifically psychological horror, I think that definitely is my favorite, but as much as I love horror games, I also am a big baby when it comes to them, and I'm absolutely terrified by, I don't, it's like demonic things, demonic stuff, that's 100% what gets me through and through, so as far as like real life scary, I would say, I, I think I talked about this yesterday, but stuff where it's like your parental figure is has like a demon take over or something like the shining situation that is like my biggest fear also look what i found i uh witches brew alani new i think you guys told me about this and it's like a candy apple it's so fun so i guess is it gonna taste like a, i think it's gonna taste like a candy apple i'm pretty sure only username the left what's up welcome back in and thank you 
Thank you. All right, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Yellow Koala, what's up? Welcome back in. Zorak, welcome back in. Alert, welcome back in. That guy, Rai, welcome back in too. <laughs> no, I wish, but as I was doing this, okay, hear me out. As I was doing this, I kind of think maybe next year, I wonder if like there's spooky parks or hold on, wait, I'm scrolling. V trip, V trip, thank you so much for the gifted sub. And Ali got it. I don't know if Ali's here, but I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes and welcome in. Um, I was thinking about this and I actually had so much fun putting together this and a couple of the other looks that it'd be really cool to volunteer at one of those like amusement parks or something and do the makeup for the Halloween haunt stuff. That would be so much fun and be able to like create these really terrifying looks. I think it'd be an awesome way to like use the I, I don't know I'm gonna say I feel a little talented when it comes to this stuff it's giving me all of like I'm reminiscing from my days when I was in art in like high school I feel like game Dan what's up welcome in as well hold on one second I'm scrolling uh guy right again welcome back in and no I wish and yes it looks very spooky today mellow welcome back in pop off bootless bit welcome back into a little bit of Frankenstein's college fun drugs I hate you Benji welcome back in ghoulish welcome back in bigger nerd with the hydrate all right like, let's give this a try let us see I can answer that question in one second, okay. Okay. It's like, I don't know about that one. I don't know. It's, it actually really does taste like caramel apple, but I don't think you want to drink a caramel apple. You know, that's reserved for being something that you crunch into. I just, let me try again. That tasted purple. <laughs> it's just extremely sweet i think it's extremely sweet the cherry slushy one i actually am not a fan of the slushies i like the mimosa one the best but that's no surprise i'm a big fan of like orange juice in general but does it taste like michael myers booty <laughs> yes that's exactly how it tastes all right let me scroll back up Again, bigger nerd, welcome back in, and thank you for the hydrate. Dan, welcome back in. And also, thanks for being patient. I know I said this a couple streams ago, but yes, I have no way to predict how long it's going to take me with these looks. I started two hours early for this one, and I spent like a good hour working on this by itself, and then I got to the last hour, and I was like, holy crap, I gotta go. <laughs> so I actually intended to do even more, but it's okay. I'm happy with how it turned out. It's fine, but thanks for being patient. How do you know what booty takes? How do I know what Michael Myers booty tastes like? We're not going to talk about it. Look, he doesn't even have a lower half. What do you mean? He doesn't even have a lower half right now. I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the heart rate monitor as well. So I know that we have been doing spooky Halloween fest for the last three days, but... I really consider this the like hard start of it because we've been playing Resident Evil 4 and while that is spooky in its own way and was probably terrifying in 2005, I think that this is probably the first like spooky, spooky game that we're doing this year. Alfredo, what's up? Welcome back in. Fuchs, again, all of my mods, welcome back in. Sif, welcome back in. Holy potato. <laughs> I literally just said holy potato. Spork, Spork, welcome back in too. Bigger nerd again. Lakers, welcome back in. Rare Ghost, welcome back in. Rooney, hello. Luna, you guys just don't see it, but Ginger actually is dressed for the occasion as well. But I don't think she's going to make an appearance. She's been so, I talked about this the other day. She's been really down and out, I feel like. All right, non-professional games, what's up? Welcome back in. Ali, yes, Ali, you are here. I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes and welcome in. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to do something. Uh, I need to go charge my phone so that it can pick up the feed from the heart rate monitor. Otherwise, we are gonna be in trouble because of course, like always, I never actually charge my phone. So we'll see. The photo of Ginger is adorable. <laughs> Yeah, Ginger in the Harry Potter costume gives me life, I swear. She actually is not, like, it, she wasn't minding it that much because she had so many treats from it. So now she associates the costume with treats. So this is good. This is good. Where are we getting all this? Okay, I read that. Duke, welcome back in. Pizza time, welcome back in. Ronan, welcome back in. Hopefully that's picking it up. Let me see. <laughs> heroin what's up welcome back in sharpie welcome back in riddler welcome back in luna lady again welcome back in you know poison ivy was actually one of the looks that i put on for this month but then i i didn't know if i had like i i haven't played as her in anything yet so i feel like 
I don't know if I want to do that being said I'm doing costumes for things that I've never actually seen like we still I I'm giving you guys the schedule today I know for a fact Scarecrow welcome back into Fox again thank you so much for the continual support spooky season has been upon us all right the heart rate monitor is set up let me run real quick and just plug this in before it dies monster beneath welcome back in all right hold on I also want to catch up because I feel like I'm going to catch up any second. Yeah, we added the candles yesterday. I was waiting on double A batteries. I am so bad at having like certain things on hand. I have a million triple A batteries. You just got to get it together. I need a double A for those ones, but the get your shit together. You. Wait, how does this even resemble a watermelon? The Wi Fi is a little slow. Wait, hold on. The Wi Fi is a little slow. Where are you? Yes, yes. I did not forget about that. I didn't forget about that. Yes, we're going to watch the trailer too. So don't forget, the day is here for Mortuary's assistant. I'm not ready for it, but I know you guys are. Wraith, what's up? Yes, it has been a while, and thank you, and welcome back in. Dreamville, welcome back in. Kiwi, welcome back in. It's almost the weekend. I mean, it is Tuesday, so it is basically Friday, if you use my method uh, and approach on that. Holy cow. Corby. Corby, thank you so much for the resub. Yes, it has been a while. <laughs> How did I ever let it go by four months? Corby, thank you so much for the continual support and welcome back in. Uh, I wasn't going to look at Callisto. We're just doing the trailer for Resident Evil 4. Yes. No, I didn't. Morty. Morty. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the channel and community. And guys, I hope you enjoy. Brooke got one. Red Raider. Invincible. Guys, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. And Morty, thank you so much. Do you say we're switching it to purple? I do need to change the request. It can only be, did somebody actually make it? Dev girl, welcome back in. <laughs> Alfredo again, welcome back in. Hitman, welcome back in. And yes, that is Michael Myers, our favorite man. He chases after you till the end of time. How do you know what it tastes like? <laughs> I'm scrolling. You're setting the mood to purple, Marthy. Purple. All right. I thought we were doing like a matching kind of thing, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I think the purple, that's like a lot of purple in the background. Hold on. Mmm. I think that's pink. There we go. All right. We're getting extra spooky in here. Red Hood, what's up? Welcome back in. DJ, welcome back in too. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Unknown. Thank you. It actually is kind of fitting. I got the inspiration to do it a little bit too because I just watched the Rob Zombie version of the Munsters. So I was already into the um, Frankenstein's monster feels. Jerf, uh, Jerf, what's up? Welcome in as well. Monzi, again, welcome back in. All right, let me go plug this in real quick and then we'll get started. Bartless, what's up? Welcome in and thank you. Okay, give me one second. Ginger does not like when I'm wearing costumes. She's not about it whatsoever. Glad to see I'm healing after surgery. You know, it's a little bit, it's still a little sore, okay? This was like just this morning. So it's a little still inflamed, but it matches this weird demonic bruises on my arm. So I mean, maybe this is how I'm meant to look. Glide path, welcome back in. All right, so I've got the heart rate monitor on. We'll see if that actually works. But yeah, other than that, I, I'm trying to think if I have anything to update you guys on. I'll be off the next two days. So I'm off Wednesday and Thursday, but we are doing a game night on Thursday. I know I haven't put the schedule out, but yes, I'm planning to do like a spooky fun game night on Thursday. And then, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. And then I'll be back on Friday. It's just flesh wound. <laughs> just a flesh wound yes of course all right i want to make sure i caught everybody again morty thank you so much for the gifted subs mr welcome back in i thought you were talking to me when you said my nickname oh the hydrate too corby oh mm -hmm. you know the tragedy the tragedy the real tragedy here is that i bought an entire case of these because you guys talked about them being good and now we're just going to have to grin and bear it and take it for what it is. Pure caffeine to the veins. All right. Dead Space remake trailer came out today, too. But it's I... A flesh wound. Oh, man. All right. Do you guys want to see both trailers? Are we going to do both trailers? We're doing... Uh, I lost uh rob what's up welcome back in and i hope you enjoyed the emotes and the sub and yes pleasey super spooky today okay i didn't promise both trailers no no, no i'm saying like do you guys want to see both trailers dead space and this one and joanne thanks for the follow welcome to the channel and community or joan maybe joan 
I did. I just charged my phone. That's why I stepped away. Baby bears, welcome back in. And thanks for the hydrate. Justin, thanks for the hydrate too. All right. Oh, all right. All the trailers, every trailer. I guess I, I haven't seen a lot of trailers. What are the three ones that we haven't seen? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Mm. Darren, what's up? Welcome back into the remake trailers. Okay. Let's look up the remake trailers. Yeah. Yeah, that one's not good. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something for the timeout on the yeah. I'm gonna have to do something for the for the hydrate, because you guys spam that nonstop. Alright, so we're doing Resident Evil 4 remake, and then we're also doing yes, 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 yes. So we're doing the stated play for that. All right, stated play for that one. And then we're also doing, which one? You said Dead Space 2, the one that just came out today. I haven't seen the God of War trailers too. Do you want to do the God of War trailers as well? Yeah. Hello, uh, Alyssa? Oh, yeah, I'm saying that right. Alyssa, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. It is just like drinking a caramel apple. She's going <laughs> to... I hate all of my alerts right now. Riddler. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm going to have to time out hydrate. Yeah, no kidding. I also think that it might start peeling off because I was I'm trying to not have as much touch it because it was starting to peel off because I did it so early on. I think it's just like the fake. Um, how, what is it like the wax scar stuff? The scar wax is really temperamental if you're constantly moving around. All right, so we're doing that trailer. So you want to do three? The right. I haven't seen the Ragnarok trailer, and I do feel like we should. Yeah. Okay. Three trailers. Trailers have three things. Casta hates the most: tips, tricks, and spoilers. It's not that like I I'm so afraid to see a, like a little bit of the game. It's just that I as soon as I put like I don't know, not like as soon as I visually see that it's actually happening, then I start getting my hopes up and then I have all these expectations and I feel like inevitably my expectations are always like let down. I don't know. I feel let down a lot from games and I think that's why I really enjoyed Resident Evil 4 was because I didn't look at any of the, I don't know, I, I went in with zero expectations whatsoever. I can't talk today. Uh, Alyssa, again, welcome in. All right, we'll do Dead Space. All right, we'll do Dead Space 2. So we'll duplicate these. I'm trying to decide, do we do? Do we do? Felix, what's up? Welcome back in. I'm kind of Frankenstein slash Frankenstein's bride. Kind of like a mixture. Uh, dun, 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 dun. What are we doing? I forget what we're doing. Dead Space and then you guys do want Ragnarok. Dead Space remake. Is that the first trailer that they came out with? RE4, no, I have RE4 pulled up, yeah. I have RE4 pulled up, DC. <laughs> soon, soon. I decided to put them out around the holiday season. And Swift Guy, what's up, welcome back in. If you're 5'8", does that mean your brothers are 5'8", too? No, not at all. They are much taller, much, much taller. Uh, Q, Q, what's up, welcome back in. The wounds under your collarbones make me shiver. I, <laughs> I hate it in a horror sort of way. Does it bother you? Does it bother you? <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with how not and realistic it looks at the same time. I surprise myself every time I pull one of these looks off, you guys. I go in with zero expectations, and I'm just happy that it didn't turn out like how last year's Frankenstein monster turned out. I saw Ragnarok last. Okay. Okay, you guys do want Ragnarok. Uh, six hours ago. Wait, there was an official reveal trailer as well. We're not doing the reveal trailer, though. The one that came out, Eurogamer? No. Yeah, I think we can do that one. All the other ones. Ah, oh, I see it. I see it. I'll do GameSpot, the 4K trailer. It's a gameplay trailer. The gameplay trailer. Dead Space Remake and God of War. All right. I'm becoming more cultured by watching the trailer. Why does my camera shake when my... I don't know. That's interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which Ragnarok trailer? Just the normal one? I'm guessing the... Probably like an IGN one. 
Do you want the one that was released to... No, that's the cinematic trailer. State of Play, two weeks ago. Official story trailer. The State of Play, okay. Mm. All right, let's do it. Okay. No, not this one. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, not this one. Hold on. Three trailers, legendary stream. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> Freedom for me. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. And MJD, what's up? Welcome in. No, I'm not. <laughs> I never am. Were you going to be watching Nightmare Before Christmas? No, I actually just recently rewatched that, but I want to watch that as a community around December. I feel like that one you can watch it around Christmas time too, you know? A lot of time getting hype and excited means to everything. You expect everything from a simple game, especially. OK, so here's the thing. I don't mind gameplay trailers, but when it comes to watching trailers of just like the story or things like that, the cinematic trailers, that's what builds up expectations. Those ones I feel like are so beautiful that I expect that level of greatness applied to the entire game. And that's just not realistic. I know it's like my own it's the problem is is that i create unrealistic expectations it's nothing on the game <laughs> eddie what's up welcome back in now i really want to watch nightmare before christmas am i giving sally vibes do i look like sally i guess i kind of do maybe a little bit i keep humming it it's because it's the starting it's because of the starting yeah it's the starting scene one all right so i'm here but you have not wait wait you have me for only oh unleashed welcome back in all right yeah, we'll be starting in a little bit. And is it karma? No, comma. Cam. Cam, welcome in. All right, guys. So which one do you guys want to do first? Should we do Resident Evil 4? I feel like Resident Evil 4. Fun factor, what's up? Welcome back in. Also, this is going to be a little bit different because I watched them on this screen. So y'all are going to see it on this screen. So I'm going to be looking to my left, which feels weird. Uh, mm -hmm. RE4, Dead Space. Okay, RE4 Dead Space, not the game spot. I pulled up the right one, right? God of War Ragnarok, official story trailer, state of play. Yeah, that one. Okay. All right, let's do this. I'm going to actually, I'm going to move it over to this side. Because otherwise it's got me all thrown off. It's got me all thrown off. Okay, let's do that. The gameplay trailer. No, I wasn't just watching it. It's the starting soon song. It's the starting soon song. All right, let's do. Uh, I don't know why I should have set this up sooner. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I'm going to have it over here. That's so weird, though. I don't know if I like that. All right. Oh, no, that's got a war Ragnarok. All right. When you look left, you have cool, crazy eyes going on. I know. That's why I got to switch it to the other one. That's why I got to switch it to the other one. Hold on. Every time I click on it, I'm like, duplicate. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's just do it on the games one. Okay, let's just do that. And then I'll add it in. Light mode comments incoming. Okay, hear me. <laughs> I don't mind light mode when it comes to YouTube. I don't know what it is. I really don't mind it. But also, like, whenever I watch YouTube, it's typically on my phone. So it's not an issue, you know? It's not, like, an issue for me because I'm having it full screened anyway. So... No, I'm not going to do crazy ice cream. <laughs> Let's do. I'm trying to think. Am I doing window capture for this? Yeah. Will I be? <laughs> I'm just trying to get this set up. Mr. Mojo, what's up? Welcome back in, by the way. All right. Okay. It's bright eyes. Bright mode is not that bad. I'm done with you guys. I bet no, I don't watch Twitch in light mode. All right, you guys. Hold on. Let me add it. I think I'm doing browser source. <laughs> no, zero welcome back in. This is why I never do. Well, because I, I don't want to look. I guess I could look this way, but I, could, I would have crazy eyes for a little bit. Dark Raven, welcome back in. I'm assuming I'm doing Windows Capture. Yeah. All right. Let me drag this bad boy down. Move him over here. Move this over here. Oh, no, no, no. It's not the right size. Uh, it's not going to be the right size, though. There we go. Okay, so it's going to cut off the right side just a smidge, but bear with me. 
Okay. Bear with me. All right. Let's go. I am watching full screen. You guys are temperamental today. I try to get the light and dark mode in sync for... Wait, wait, for the time of day. Huh. I've never thought to do that, though. But again, I don't watch YouTube on my computer. Like, I would say the majority of the time I'm watching it on my phone. So I already have it full screen to begin with. All right. I'm hoping the sound's going to be good. Let's add that back. Blinded. <laughs> All right. So this is the Resident Evil 4 remake trailer. Stay to play. This came out how long ago? Jordan, what's up? Welcome back in. Dan, welcome back in as well. Math, hello. Uh, five years ago. Okay. Five. What? No. No, it did. Right, Gem. <sighs> I think it just came out two weeks ago. A month ago. Just makes sense to me. Everything's different, though. I feel like a mess right now. Yeah. It was close to summer's time. Okay. Yeah, guys, welcome in. If you're here for more Tourist Assistant, we're about to start it. I'm just doing a reaction to three trailers, and then we're going to get started. 84 years ago. <laughs> All right. I don't know why it's doing. Oh, you guys can't see that. Okay. It might be loud. I want our bongo guy back. I feel like I'm watching Zorro. It's like Zorro right now. Gunder Wonder Roost. I've located Baby Eagle. Is that like the first house? It is, it's just like the first house. Guess you, me. Big Durang is about to vacation, eh? Ha! <laughs> Ada? Ada? You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. I, I mean, yeah, that looks significantly more terrifying when it's in better, <laughs> better graphics. If I could just forget what happened that night. Mm. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. Did we have that same kind of story last time? March 24, that's six days before my birthday. So is it the same voice actors? I wanna know one, is it the same voice actors? Um, Z rated, what's up? Welcome back in as well. And yes, uh, I miss that Prince. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Ashley is, <laughs> Ashley was always pretty, okay. Ada, also her dress looks a little bit different like that. They sound like different people. That's my only thing, but is this, so did Leon's, actually, that's a good point to begin with. Leon's um, VA in two, was that different than his original VA? Leon is the voice actor from RE2 Remake, but not the one from a long time ago. And yeah, whoever did the uh, voice acting for Sadler sounds drastically different, but in a good way, you know, in a good way as well. Yeah, this would be really fun to do on my birthday next year. I feel like that would make for a really fun stream um correct yeah okay so initial impressions after just playing this if you're hopping in here i just finished resident evil 4 yesterday um i really think that they're gonna make it a little bit more spooky i'm getting a lot more feelings from like re7 and re8 with that but it's still i don't i don't know i wonder do you think that they're gonna change the island since a lot of people didn't like that last part I know, sorry, you guys. We'll go on to Dead Space next. Uh -huh. I have these, like, all pop propped up here. Um, 
Oh, you guys can't see, can you? That's so weird. There we go. All right. I heard the island is going to be the stealth area. So yeah, uh, this is actually really good. Sorry, guys. I'm a little out of it. <laughs> it's throwing me off. I don't normally do this kind of stuff, so it's throwing me off. Yeah, the light mode hurting. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so my first thoughts are, are they going to do something different with the island? Because that is... To me, that kind of lost me at the end there. That's the one part that I wish was a little bit different. Yudi, Yudi, thank you so much for the gifted sub to the channel and community. And Lucky Luke, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. This is going to be the Dead Space trailer that just came out today, you said? This was today? Yeah, so I'm hoping to see that. I'm hoping that I think this game, I think this remake would be a good time for them to introduce a stealth-like, similar to uncharted or last of us where you're actually able to take people out silently that was something that i felt like has always been missing from most of the resident evil games that i've been playing daft thanks for the follow welcome to the channel and community out of the comfort zone and into the content so yep that's a good way to put it honestly core yudi thank you so much and welcome back in i feel like they will change a lot of crazy stuff from the original less wacky stuff more serious yeah i mean they have really good bones there if you think about the story of re4 just at its core it has the potential to be just as spooky as resident evil village or a seven and i but I thought, I would thought that the community didn't like how spooky RE7 was. And I think that's why they kind of tailored it back in RE Village. Because I didn't get the same terrifying feelings like I did in RE Village, except for the dollhouse. The dollhouse was pretty messed up there for a little bit. Yes. All right. Next one's Dead Space. Rumor has it Krauser will be cut. Krauser felt out of place in this one anyway. I don't think he really added a whole lot to begin with uh code veronica i still need to play code veronica i haven't done that yet and raj what's up welcome in all right let's do this USG this is the oh let me start wait let me start real quick hold on just so everybody knows i've never played the original dead space i've only done dead space 2 voodoo welcome back in by the way maybe look at Callisto. i have i have seen Callisto protocol yeah we're gonna do this and god of war and then we'll get started with mortuary's assistant re7 was my favorite i was there i loved i was actually really okay with the amount of horror in that but i thought that it was like kind of a consensus that they needed to draw it back a little bit just a smidge no i don't have green hair no, I'm like a Frankenstein. Frankenstein's bride mixed with Frankenstein monster mash thing happening here. And triple fisted, welcome back in. All right, so yeah, this is my first time seeing the first Dead Space. USG Ishimura. Yeah. This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly and responding to your distress call. Isaac Clark. What have you got, Isaac? Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the tramps. Can you handle it alone? Fix the centrifuge. Get the fuel running. Oh, this is gonna be so good. This is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. Cut off her limbs. Okay, well, we, we... Oh, I forgot about that. Not today, Satan. Isaac's actually gonna have dialogue? It's all falling apart here. 
I can't believe what's happening. Nicole? Humanity ends here. Why me? Juan, thanks for the follow. Welcome in the channel and community. Did that say January 27th? The original, he didn't speak. Did he talk in the second one to begin with? I don't even remember him talking. Okay, initial thoughts. I know I'm. it's really loud, so I'm also not talking as it's happening. Uh, Hoob, what's up? Welcome back in. <laughs> I've never played these games. Is it basically Event Horizon style horror? I love this style horror. I've talked about this before. Faded, thanks for the follow. Welcome in the channel and community. I'm not like the biggest space fan when it comes to games. Hear me out. I, I feel like that sounds bad. Like I love space as a general like set for sci-fi and movies. And I like it a lot, especially I loved, I grew up with Star Trek. I grew up with like, um, what were we talking about? Star Galactica. Like I love the idea of space, but when it comes to games, there's something that just feels like it is such an overwhelming large area to cover when it comes to games. And I feel like a lot of games have always like let me down when it comes to being able to explore and go around and actually kind of feel like you are in a large area such as space but when it comes to these horror games you're in these like very specific spots you're in like the space station whatever this one is it's a ship right the what was it the i forget what the ship's called uh star trek and star wars are both meant but i love the event so i've never i don't know what event horizon is i'm unfamiliar with that but when it comes to horror and space and they meet together that's my sweet spot because inevitably you've got dark areas You've got some kind of creepy creature, and that just plays on all of my fears. Ishimura. Am I saying that right? Ishimura? Yes. Halloween and sp space clowns. Is that what we're saying? What was it? Space clowns. Creepy clowns from space. All right. And the last one, God of War Ragnarok. So not playing the first one, do you feel like there's a lot that I can pull from the second one? Like, am I going to feel like I can connect dots if I even remember stuff from the second one, I suppose? uh han what's up welcome back in by the way uh to me a good space game would be the original ratchet and clanks <laughs> well i've never actually yeah i've never played i've never played ratchet and crank clank clank all right there we go mm, wait i missed that space dark star thanks for the follow welcome to the channel and community mobius welcome back in what is event horizon scared the heck out of me when I was a kid. Also, fear is similar, right? I just faintly remember watching my siblings play fear. That's just something that's always stuck in my head. Alien movies, pitch black movies. The, um, especially for me, movies where you have to somehow have like a light source such as your phone or a flashlight or the camera. That's why Outlast still stays as one of my most terrifying games I've played. But yes, okay, God of War Ragnarok, and then let's get started. Buck, thanks for the hydrate. I've seen the Callisto Protocol one. I have seen it. The main event. <laughs> All right. So if you guys haven't been here for a little bit or too long in the community, I just recently replayed God of War 2018. And then when Ragnarok comes out, so basically November, because October is all spooky games. So come November, I'm going to actually play through the first three before we get started on Ragnarok. But now that I now that I'm thinking about when does Ragnarok, when is it slotted to come out? It's middle of November, I want to say, or is it the end of November? The fear games were great. I remember my siblings being terrified of those. I messed you up as a kid. Exactly. Absolute unit. Welcome back in, by the way. Uh, I'm way too chicken to play horror games. I would not have been able to play horror games if I wasn't streaming it. Like if I was sitting in my room by myself, it's not my first choice. Craig, Craig, welcome back in. And thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row. And yes, the daily entertainment October. Craig, thank you. And I'm so glad to see you're still enjoying the channel and community. And then Horizon is a sci-fi horror movie. Wait, would that be good to watch during like October? Spooky Fest? The same. Hellraiser Bloodline movie begins in space. I thought I saw all the Hellraisers, but I guess I maybe not. Is that the third one? I always suspected you. <laughs> first day here ah andy what's up welcome in all right let's check this out so yeah i just played through this or played through 2018 about a month and a half ago so you guys talked about it i kept teasing that i was gonna watch it and then we never did so it's my first preview or anything of ragnarok so yes yes i played alien isolation and i loved it 
It was amazing. This is one of my favorite stories too, as far as like father and son. Keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. I know you. God killer. What is we still have we still have Mimir. Is it a god of war you came to find? You don't really want war. I feel like it's not loud enough. Are you a Kratos? All that blood on your hands? On your son's hands? What is it you will not tell me? I can't talk about it. But he I sounds so much me. older. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Our favorite girls in it. I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? Pretender God! Oh, we got more Valkyries, too. Not death can have me when it burns me. I hate, I hate those I hate those so much. Oh God. In your lifetimes has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed? Atreus is gonna be so much more Can you even helpful in this that one. Kind of love? No. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You think they'll go to the Egyptian gods? Tomb Raider? <laughs> Fate only binds you if you let it. What? The, the voice crack. Not because it is written. We, um, all right, let me switch this over here. We didn't see anything that showed us playing as him. And that's kind of surprising. Let me exit out of all these. Um, I thought that they were going to show us that we'd be able to play as him at some point, you know? I don't know what. Yeah, sorry. That was really dark during that. I didn't have, like, the light source. Uh, Caster, come back. You can juice box. What's up? Welcome back in. Interesting. What happened? What? What's happening? Wait, you guys can't see me? What? Stream was dead there for a minute? Okay, it's back. <laughs> Did you guys see the full trailer? That's so weird. Stream died briefly. Zeke, what's up? Welcome back in. Flannel, welcome back in too. Okay. We missed the last part where we saw... Thor, right? I'm assuming we saw Thor. <laughs> I just deleted of it. It's okay. So we saw Thor. Who is the other person that he's dragging? Stopped at the skydiving. That was pretty much the end. All it showed was it stopped after the wolves. Yeah, the only other part it showed was Thor. I saw the two Valkyries at some like at the same time. So we saw the dual Valkyries. I cannot talk today, you guys. What is happening? Um, that made me think of Tomb Raider when you're looking at the, the sun or is it the moon? What did you say? The eclipse? Yeah. So we saw the two Valkyries fighting. I just deleted it. No, my connection should be fine. But now you make me want to pause for a second and figure it out. Wave, what's up? Welcome back in. I don't remember if Thor's in the trailer. I think it was at the very end. Yeah, it was like a thick boy. He was a thick boy, Thor. But who is the guy that he's cutting off the hairpiece? That's what I want to know. <laughs> the reaction was so good. No, I felt really distracted during this. But something about it, the only thing that worries me is I felt like we saw a lot of similar villains and creatures that we fought in the first one. 
Yeah, the dad, the dad bow, the dad bod Thor. All right, let's start Mortuary's assistant. Holy cow, it's gonna be an hour long intro. Especially if you didn't realize. Yeah, I didn't realize that I died. No, Pinky, what's up? Welcome back in. I'm not looking forward to this at all. The things we do for love. Same thing happened to another streamer earlier. I think it's just a Twitch issue. Something going on today. Something's all funky. Quick Ben, what's up? Welcome back in. Uh, so there was the tall guy with the hair, and we see we see Kratos cutting off his hair. Tear. That's Tear? We heard about Tear the entire time. I don't remember us actually seeing that we were gonna deal with him. Ah, oh, so something must be something's off with Twitch today. Devow, thanks for the hydrate as well. Mmm. Oh, sorry. No, 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 that's normal. Something's up with Twitch today. No, that one's normal. I haven't added it yet. There we go. All right, flashing lights. Nick, Nick, thank you so much for the reset for two months in a row and welcome back in. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're still enjoying the channel and community. All right, we're going to throw this all the way down here. All right, initial reactions, most excited for the Resident Evil 4 remake and Ragnarok. I know, and Ragnarok. As far as Dead Space, I enjoy Dead Space 2. If you guys recall, I played through Dead Space 2 at the end of last year, so it was around Christmas time. And didn't I know that was Soma? Yeah, no, we did Dead Space 2 for the 12 games of Christmas, right? I think we did. It was definitely for the 12 games of Christmas. Something, something dark side. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I started to play it last year. And for the games that I did around the 12 games of Christmas, it just didn't like those games didn't get the attention that they deserved, to be completely honest, because I was rushing against chat um, and I had to prove a point. So while I did win, I felt like I missed out on truly enjoying some incredible games. But it is game scene number 53, something, something dark side. But yes, Jordan, what's up? Welcome back in and thank you. I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying them. I hope you guys are having fun with this. I'm definitely going to try to get feedback next year if you guys like it all year round. Whoa. I'm... No, something's wrong right now. I'm so glad. No. No. <laughs> Thank you. No, 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 no. Never understand why you Hold on. Hold on. I have to quit out of all of it. Something's happening. Yeah, Twitch is not where I yeah, I know. It's lagging like crazy. But hold on. That is so weird. DC not right now. I've never seen it happen like that before. Yeah, no. Uh, all right, let me start it back up and see if I can change. That's so weird. <laughs> Dark Star. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give me a second, you guys. It's whenever I'm in the game. Huh. This better not happen. I worked too hard on this look to have no stream. But yeah. Hmm? Okay, wait, no, I'm still... Why did I didn't open? I just opened Resident Evil 4, you guys. That's why it's not lagging. Oh my gosh. Great balls of fire. You guys threw me off with these trailers today. Strictly Buckets, what's up? Welcome in. And uh it's, it's a Tuesday. I told you guys, Tuesdays are always a mess for me. Alan Wake runs better. <laughs> Everyone's playing Overwatch. Maybe Twitch can't handle it. What's go oh, is it the new season or something like that? Hmm. Let's see. Robert, what's up? Welcome back in. I'm going to see what happened. I'm so lagging. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Yeah. Enter. I know I'm going to be possessed for a second, you guys.
I'm so glad it's almost What is that? Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank I don't understand. I keep trying to do the settings and it keeps starting the game itself. Yeah, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to see if I can change that first. Mm -hmm. Even if the stream goes down under. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, give me one second. I'm going to do this just because the lagging is really pissing me off. So we're going to stare at this for a second while I try to get this going and figure out what the heck is happening. If you start lev <laughs> levitate. Oh, something is definitely off. Something's totally off right now. RB, enjoy the lurk. This is why I need to start doing the games before I actually get started, but most of the times I always, I don't know, I guess I, I just assumed that it works, you know? All right, let's knock it down a notch. Well, yeah, no wonder. Uh, no wonder, because it's trying to do 2560 times 1440 at 165 hertz. <laughs> what even is this? All right. Oh, I think we figured out the problem. <laughs> All right, that should work. And the quality is like ultra. 165 FPS in OBS. Totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Who even starts it there? Who starts it there? All right, let's try now. Okay, let's see. Might have to re-add it. All right. No, it's still lagging. What in the... W that will do. 60 FPS. Hmm. What hertz should we be at, do you think? That'll do. <laughs> oh my gosh. You had the same problem? I guess I'll knock the quality down to medium. Yeah, that was just 60 though, and it still wasn't doing it. Let me turn off V-Sync too. Turn it all off. Depth of field. All right, let me close it and then reopen it and see. <laughs> Challenger, welcome back in. No. Did I delete the... Yeah, I deleted the browser capture. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't normally have a browser capture on that screen. Like, it doesn't lag in the game. Only on OBS. Only on OBS, yeah. But we'll see. Let's try now. It's... Probably gonna lag again. Okay, wait. Hold on. That's good. This is good. This is good. Call Ginger for help. <laughs> Ginger would never have these problems. Habachari, what's up? Welcome back in. I think we're good to go. Yeah, because it was already lagging when we first started on this. Can't hear, can't see. Oh. The wolves were Skull and Haunty. Hold on. Is it still lagging? I can't tell. Who chases the moon and the sun? Some conflicting into on who chases who. Ah. So it's possible they've combined them in the game. You really... You know so much. Like, it's incredible. Okay, I think we're smooth and we're good to go. Let's just get a little dance in here. Just move around. All right, I think we're good. Tyr is the god of war from Norse mythology. Well, we heard about Tyr multiple times throughout that. King, what's up? Welcome in. All right. Today has been a little bit of a shit show, you guys. It's a Friday for me or a Tuesday for y'all. But yes, today has been a little bit of a shit show. So let's get started. I have no idea what this game is about other than we are a mortuary's assistant. I think that one was pretty obvious. But let me just go in here real quick. I do have subtitles on. Controls. All right. Hopefully it picks that up. Story event, seasonal content, item randomization. I think we're fine. Volume, I'm just going to turn down a smidge. I think we'll be fine. Where I got the fire pit? What fire pit? Are you talking about this? Are you talking about this? I got it from Amazon. Okay. Yeah, we are good now. We are good. <laughs> I know I'm trying. Like, there's literally flames behind me, fun fact. So it's hard to... 
to seem like I'm completely handling it fine. Well, it's picking up mouse and keyboard, but we'll see. Let me try this real quick. Mm -hmm. Just wants to do that for that. Oh, I'll have to post it in Discord. I don't know off the top of my head by any means. But I, if you're in the Discord, I can shoot you a... I can put it in HGTV. I'm this is... so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank okay. you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre feel. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of Don't you. plan on sleeping tonight? I really am. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to I have finalize my internship there. Nightmare oh, well, before that's I... good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are mm -hmm. you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Nightmare on oh, Elm Street Rebecca. vibes. That's what's happening. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand. And we no, want comfort ninja. when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So... Here. What is it? Ah, the cross. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. Yeah. It should be yours. It's her anyway. grandma. Nat, what's up? Welcome back in. Yeah. No, it's not a telltale, and I don't know why it's not picking up my controller. That's frustrating. Thanks. Thanks. All right. <laughs> yeah, Enough quickly she like moved that away. I'm so proud of you. When is all this? Status quo, welcome when do you back. Start? In? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Bob, welcome in. T-Swift's the main character. Ah, uh, she needs to be just a smidge more blonde. I want to keep this- oh, no worries! I love how you stuck around for all the shit show, too. No worries, professional games. I'll catch you later. Thanks for hanging around and have a good rest of your week. Yeah. She said thanks. I like how she like quickly dragged it away. Luz, what's up? Welcome back in. All right, here we go. Please let me control her this. Off to the pawn shop to take it. Okay, here we go. All right, just a normal day as a mortuary's assistant. Let's go. Whenever someone's afraid. <sighs> well, it's kind of, I mean, so we start out with her grandma. She's already been working here. This might be just a smidge too sensitive for me, so hold on. Mm -hmm. hey, listen. Mm -hmm. Ah! MP, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. I saw that, Fuchs, by the way, and I know. I know I gotta do that. All right. I can never have my sensitivity on high. I don't know what it is. And just... All right, back away. Yeah, I think that's better. Now the real shit show begins. I don't... The mortuary's assistant is what you do when you need money. Isn't there? But there's a lot of money in death, you know? Also, my heart rate is alarmingly high off the bat. What is happening? MemJ, thank you. I don't. What is the average length of this game? A lot of people. So I'm interested to see how I feel about this game just because a lot of people, I would say 50-50. Some people love this game and then other people are like, hmm. It was just was boring. I think some people thought it was boring. All right, what is this? Cup of coffee? Oh gosh. Oh my. Hold up. Ah. Uh, all right. So it's showing green right now. Nothing. Like everything seemed normal. That's so weird. Mm, no, Ginger's not doing anything. Nothing's changed. Welcome back. Oh my god. <laughs> Expecting three streams in one day is a bit too much. I know. I don't think, I know now it's not the game. So obviously the stuff with the game before wasn't Twitch. That was just, it was shooting off at such a high rate that it was ridiculous, but we should be fine. If it happens again, 
let me know and then I might just have to I don't know I might have to figure it out and then I don't know maybe stream Thursday instead like take the rest of tonight and tomorrow off and then stream Thursday I don't know what's going on right now it's showing green but it was showing red when you guys said that but everything seems fine right now they're doing fine online yeah I don't know if maybe it's something around my area too I didn't check if there was an issue with the <laughs> your Twitch representative, if that were a thing. Mm. Twitch really needs the 50-50 to keep their way. <laughs> they need the 50-50. Trivial with the gifted sub to poggers. Internet is running terrible today. I've never had this issue though. The one thing I can say is when I first started streaming in this house, I did have issues, but I haven't had issues an entire year. I think. No, I saw Ginger. I did walk over. Ginger was fine. Yeah. I would say if it happens again, we might just stop where we are and pick back up and I'll just stream on Thursday probably, but I'll keep trying. Their streams crashed. It's always me. <laughs> it's always. I did a speed test. My speed was fine. My speed was great. Arthur, what's up? Welcome back in. The pain of knowing that I would have done this makeup. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to keep it on till tomorrow. I'll just sleep. Jang, welcome back in. I'm doing like a Frankenstein's monster. Uh, all right. Pick up this coffee because clearly I need it. Jeez. Drop your coffee. Maybe I don't need it. Gosh. So sensitive. It's also weirdly quiet. I can't fit through. I can't fit through here. The intro wasn't long and was long. Are you saying it wasn't long enough or it was long enough? Hmm. Sleeping under a protective cover. So we can move this, but we can't do anything with it. This might be good. Maybe I'm just destined to <gasps> water. That's not running, but I hear it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It is strange when there's no music in the game. Can I lift the lid? Hmm? I hate games where you can just pick up everything. I'm pretty sure this might be somebody's ashes. <laughs> Allie, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Oh man. Oh, I don't like that. Punchy, welcome back in and thank you for the raid. Assassin's Creed again? Thank you so much and welcome back. It's strange when there's no music. Madison was like, what areas did Madison have? But there was still, there was still ambiance with Madison. There was still like creaks and weird things. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Punchy, hello. I pulled her eyes to start happening. Vecna, what's up? Welcome back in. All right, pencil. You used to sign the paperwork left on the door. All right. Quick inventory. Oh, I actually, all right. This is actually part of our inventory. Yeah, we're back. We'll see if it goes, like if something happens again, then I'll probably stop it there. And just instead of taking Thursday off, I'll come back or something. Something, something dark side. All right, push these drawers back. Where's the candy? I feel like funeral homes would definitely have like a jar of candy. Or something something it does it does give me none vibes which i've never actually seen that one there's nothing in the desk me annoyed that there's nothing in the loot mm -hmm. just beat the game in 20 minutes yeah let me know if it happens again y'all i know that's what we need to sign but i want to look at everything okay so we're probably going to place it in these mm. Uh, nun vibes. Also, I'm getting the wife from Adam's family, maybe. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. There were an odd amount of quiet parts with... With Madison. Mr. Delver's business cards. Riverfield Mortuary, established 1970. Spooky. Mm-hmm. At a funeral home? Candy, would you eat it? I mean, candy's candy no matter where. <laughs> what do you mean? 
Wacky, what's up? Welcome back in. I don't think there's anything else unless look at the wow. I'm impressed that they have a surplus of toilet paper. Oh, oh, those are nice ceilings. That's some nice woodwork right there. Oh, <gasps> and it carries through. Mmm. Oh, it's gorgeous. There's no black eyes. She's looking down. Her eyes are closed, you guys. Scripted, what's up? Welcome back in. It's, uh, Lufa. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. Hmm. Grab it. I don't have my clipboard. I I have to get a clipboard before I can sign it. That's fair. Where's our clipboard? Our clipboard wasn't on the desk. Terrible bathroom tiles. What do you mean? It's a wood bathroom. Hey, it's like hey. a laminate. Ah, Stefan, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Mm. I thought it would be this, but it's it's not. We opened all the drawers. It's the candy at a funeral home would just be <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It would be the butterscotch. Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. It would be the I should pick the vase up, shouldn't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not perfect, but it's better. Can I go back out? No, you can't. Mm. I looked up mortuary's assistant jobs near me, none available. I wonder, I mean, honestly, I wonder how many. Do you have to, I would assume, do you have to have special qualifications? I feel like you would. I opened all these before y'all. Clipboard's not over here. Clipboard might be up here. Yeah, I gotta pick up, ah, I got you. So I have I'm my pencil. I got my inventory. I'm just trying to grab one of these. Any of these. There's two that I can actually deal with. But I can't pull anything out. Mm. To be an apprentice, you need training. Uh, yeah, yeah. To just be an attendant. Yeah. Sphincter. What's up? Welcome back in. The no, I didn't see that message, Orion. Why can't I just pick this up? Stop opening that. I know. I know. How did I even get it to? You guys, this is already off to a crappy start. I need to. <laughs> Am I pressing the wrong button here? I don't have my clipboard. I wonder if it wants me to... No. What? Spicy Tuesdays. What am I doing wrong here? Uh... Yeah. Well, she said we need our clipboard first. I, I have the pencil, y'all. You have to grab the pencil out of your inventory. Then why did she say she didn't have her clipboard? I was obsessed for no damn reason. All right, I don't like that. This took me a while too, because it's like once you pick up the pencil, I wasn't thinking, you know when you don't know how a game's gonna behave, like do you just need to have the item in your inventory or do you actually have to take it out and use it? I should check of that by now. I should check both of them, you know? Uh, Velector, what's up? Welcome back in and thank you. Uh, did I play through seven? No, I haven't played through the other two bits and pieces of, uh, Resident Evil 4. I mean, it sounds nice outside. Oh. Rebecca, great, perfect timing. Using a Ouija board. Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Moving the deceased. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key. Then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. How many times can we say the word gurney? 
Can I steal drugs? I can't close it, but I can open it. Add more, what's up, welcome back in. It just freaked out for a second. I don't know if it's gonna happen again. Hopefully it doesn't, but we're just gonna continue on. Hmm. Contessa, what's up, welcome back in. Where are the butterscotch? <laughs> Give me the candy. Oh, is anybody else like not happy that they put the um, Mrs. Page, please? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I don't like that they put the <laughs> computer on the desk. Like, I don't know. It's just something about the. Ooh. Yeah, fingers crossed. Hmm. -mm. Cold storage. To bring a body in or out of cold storage, open the bay with the body's name, pull out the rack, then move the cart over to it. Mm-hmm. Oswald Dalton. Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure about this. Contessa, thanks for the follow. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. All right, I feel like I'm getting back into it, you guys. I felt really, like, just weird at the beginning. Like, there was so much stuff happening. All right, let's push this back in. All right, so we're gonna push the gurney over here real quick. Keeps it off the floor. I, uh, the furnace. All right. What's your name? Wait, 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 I wanna see your name again. Dorothy Page, ah. Uh, these the formaldehyde to embalm the corpses. Pull her out, pull her out. Oh, maybe I have to have this lined up. I would say it's pretty lined up. I think I can pull it out from all the way back here. Nope. Okay. Back it up. Okay, but real quick, hold on. Oh shoot, did she get a gunshot one? I need to push this back. There's something about it. I couldn't leave it open, you know? Uh, the Werther's Originals. <laughs> the butterscotch candy or the ones that look like strawberries. I'm also thinking the strawberry ones. She's really skinny. I feel like with my current outfit, I should be in here. All right. I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? Hmm. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. All right. So let's observe the head for sure. Hey, Definitely the head. Five, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Me trying to figure out, I guess he did say the clipboard. So let me grab the clipboard. A clipboard used for forms and keeping track of mortuary tasks. Large item. So when it says large item, okay, so it looks like we can hold two large items. View clipboard LB. This game seems like it's going to tell you exactly what to do and you're good to go. You know, like just pay attention to whatever the instructions are. Bizzle, what's up? Welcome back in. Uh, Granny got like two tapped, one to the head, one to the heart. Put clipboard away. All right. Inspecting a body. Hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises. Interact with them to record them on the clipboard. All right, well, definitely this one. I want to, oh. So any kind of identifying marks. I don't see anything that way. I think we're good on the head. I don't like it. The room. I haven't seen the mini root beer barrels in so long. Mm. 
nothing on the back side. I can't see the heart yet. I have to be on the other side to... <gasps> hmm. These old windows never stay latched. I don't like it already. <laughs> I don't like it already. No. No, 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 no. All right, so we have two on this side, actually. So we've got this one, but then is this just a fluke? Is that a bruise? No. All right, let's rotate around this side. Nothing on that side. Philly, what's up? Welcome back in. Mortuary's assistant. Hmm. That's weird. Nothing on her hands. No markings on her wrist. Ah, what the heck? I don't know. I feel like I, we should mark the toes. Yeah, it just was shocking. I knew it wasn't anything. Scratch marks? Zombie bites and scratches for sure. Oh. Great. Climb on oh, in gosh. here and put everything into the record system. Are you trying to make sure that I don't? Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the Let's packet. Let's rotate her head family. back. I f After that, we'll get started. Put her head back. Respect the dead. I don't know. There's something about him that I don't like. There's something I don't like. I do want to see the clipboard, though. Uh, all right. Bl okay, so we called them blemishes, mild abrasion, rash. We're calling the thing on the leg a rash. Hey, all right. Uh, Zakeon, Zakeon, <laughs> thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. I totally screwed that up. Dorothy Page, 87. She looked really good for 87, I have to say. Riverfield's network how to. To enter the cadaver information, click the record no system. Fire. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y yeah. I'm fine. Sorry. Click the record icon system to open the program. Match the uh, sections on your clipboard to the corresponding sections on the computer. Once all the findings have been entered into the system, click Submit to print out the embalming records. Then file the records up front to begin the embalming. Gosh, I didn't think I was going to have to practice doing desk work. All right, record system. Wait, hold on. I want to view that night shift. The system is only for with access rights. Okay, so we probably will be able to do a night shift in the future. Everything is fine. I didn't like that voice. <laughs> You'll die here. All right. Okay. I see why they make you have to do this. All right. Dorothy. Pa Wait. Gotcha. All right. We're just circling. Head. Contusion. Left shoulder actually has another contusion. Right shoulder is good to go. Her left leg has a rash. Left arm had nothing, right arm had blemishes, and her right leg had a mild abrasion. The dude in the gamer totally. <laughs> I don't know. I've I've seen his face, but there's a difference between just seeing it and then playing it, you know? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Uh, it was the right leg. Mild abrasion. Left leg rash. I think we're good to go. Blemishes. I didn't write down the blemishes. I messed that one up. All right, so that should be good to go. The only ones that should be bare are the right shoulder and the left arm. Doing desk work right now. Very spooky. <laughs> Bish, what's up? Welcome back in. This must be the last patient of the day. Okay. All right. Where's the... Just gonna open these. Let the demons out. Uh huh. Hmm. Oh, do we need to grab the thing first? That's on me. Hold on. Where is the printer? That's on me. I don't know why I was thinking the printer might have been upstairs. Embalming report. A packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so that they are... Okay, gotcha. 
that's another large item i do want to see this real quick so yes i think when it comes to two large objects you can have two one in your right hand one in your left so i actually want to try grabbing i can't this. use that here never mind we need to anticipate the jump scares at some point see already like right away it doesn't even have red lights, but the choice of the red rug and the red furniture makes it feel creepy and demonic already. I don't like it. I also don't like the glowing footprint. All right. Hey, listen. Let's grab this. Reth, Reth, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the to channel mama. and community. All right. So I did put that one away. It's out of our inventory, so that should be good to go. I don't know if it's more scary to have like windows open. All right, I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll the be night monitored. shift. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Sir Foxington, what's up? Welcome back in. We know to anything we see, because it all impacts the embalming procedure, right? Life of Maggie, the assistant. At least, oh, hold on. First rule of being an assistant. I messed up. Hold on. Um, what's up? Welcome back in. Uh, I've had like two spooky scares. Guys, what kind of assistant am I? Wait a minute. There's no coffee in it though. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You can grab the coffee, but you can't do anything with it. Unless, can we take it to fill for water? Um, Wolfette. Wolfette. I can't believe it's already been 10 months. Thank you so much for the reset for 10 months in a row and welcome back. <laughs> Me trying to fill up the coffee pot, but the caffeine. All right, fine, we'll just dump it. But maybe we can bring him. If I'm gonna be an assistant, I have to do it right. <laughs> All right, let's take it to him, take it to him. A southpaw, thanks for the hydrate. This is for you. Take my coffee. <laughs> I just missed that. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Mm. And there I know him, him getting beers after work with his coworkers. And then today, the assistant brought me an entire pot of coffee. Are you kidding me? All right. Used for injecting cavity fluids directly into the organs. Oof. Ooh, I'm sticky. Oh, <laughs> inventory select. Apprentice, ah, uh, PVC tubing, a flexible, durable tubing used for various medical applications. Ah, uh, it's so sensitive. Eye caps used for holding eyelids shut. The way is shut. It was made by those who are dead. Setting needles, barbs with the length of wire used to needle. With a needle injector to wire the jaw shut. Oh. I can't hold anything else. Your hands are full. You're only able to carry two large items at a time. Drop an item by opening your inventory and choosing to drop the item. All right. You're fired. <laughs> I feel like I would be. Uh, that's why. Okay, so... I can't use that here. Oh, sorry. Let's go start applying them. I thought they would tell us a specific order, you know? I'm missing something. Oh, setting the face. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull, then twist the wires shut. Okay. I'm missing something, she said. I need to pull which ones? Which ones am I missing? Oh, a scalpel. Injectors. I think I need to pick up all the small pieces. I think the moisturizing wipe. Did we do first four sets? Can't hold anything else. We could set up the ivy bag. I thought he was gonna tell us which order to do it in. Kind of just winging it here, you know. Oh. Yeah? 
Oh. I feel like I'm not. Oh. Ah. Oh. This is such an in depth Zuff. What's up? Welcome back in. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I forget that it's like a whole simulator kind of thing. And it's weird, but you can't use your controller for everything. So I wasn't prepared for that. Like right now, I'm trying to back out, but it's being weird. Hmm. All right. So we have, what's the other? So we have the clipboard right now. And we have the PVC tubing. I can't use that here. Bye, Caps. Notorious, what's up? Welcome back in. All right, let's go back to it because there's something else they want us to do. Placing eye caps. All right, use the manipulator to open the eyelid completely. Interact with the eye to place the cap, then close it. I'm trying to figure out if I can even do it. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way you can do it on the controller. Edmund, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Nothing. L. Oh. Oh. Right. Ah. Uh, yeah. Jeez, unleashed. I don't think I have the stomach to do this. I would not have the stomach to do this. She doesn't eat them anymore. That's fair. That's fair. All right. So now next. Do I have anything else that I need to be doing? Who wants to work at a mortuary? Uh, I guess we probably need to go to there. All right. So it surely, it's surely, it slowly tells you what to do, but it's not the clearest directions unless it has something pointing directly under it. So for this, we need to grab these. An artificial fluid base used for firming and preserving tissue. Can't hold anything else. Crap, I need to actually drop the other item. I can't use that here. How do I drop it though? Come on. I can't use that here. Mm. I have the list. I get that, but see, like it says that you're allowed to drop it in the inventory, I but can't use that here. What the heck? I can't use that here. I need to go look at the controllers or something. I can't, I can't use I that know here. that you can't. <sighs> the escape menu. I can't use that here. Getting pissed off. I think this is mouse and keyboard. It is both. It's both actually. Like you can and you can't. Correct. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. They said that you can drop it. They said that there's something that says drop. We saw it. You think it's that inventory menu? Hmm. Ah, that's the quick inventory. Okay. Uh, okay, so they need you to go into the full inventory. That's what it is. I'm going to have to mouse and keyboard, you guys. The controller just isn't the same. Like, you don't have nearly as many options. All right, mouse and keyboard on a horror game. What could possibly go wrong? This is not the time that I want to learn this. Overflow, welcome back in. Upset bird, thank you so much for the reset for 19 months in a row, and welcome back in. Yeah, controller, please. All right, here we go. Large items are held in your hands. If both are full, you'll need to drop one. Got it. Viewing items after selecting them, then you can drop. There we go. And voila. Yeah. So we should just be able to... Oh. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. And it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. How did I press that again? 
Oh, what was the button for it? I'm gonna have to do like dual. I'm gonna be dueling. <laughs> We're gonna be doing both. That will actually work. That should be fine. I didn't like that. The DDR pad instead. <laughs> Gotcha. All right, so we have the cord. So we're mixing the embalming fluid first. Yeah, it was a pretty appropriate makeup choice for today. <laughs> Honestly, Archer, all right, I'll catch you later. Thank you so much for hanging around and have a great rest of your day. Man, I'm just feeling all out of it today. Feels like a Friday. Not stored properly. All right, so we mix that. Let's check it one more time. Seth, what's up? Welcome back in. Anxiety, I know. Make an incision in the carotid artery? Carotid artery. Jugular vein with scalpel. All right, let's grab the scalpel. Uh, we have we have three large objects anyway, so. I can't use that here. All right, let's go to it then. Let's go to her body. Archer, have a great night. All right, here we go. So that's why I was having trouble using it. You can, for the most part, I'm just not clicking the right buttons. I can't use that here. Huh. Wait, I thought they said. Uh, I can't use that here. Go back to the list. Get out, escape. I figured it out. I figured out how to pull up the, okay, I got it. Make an incision in the granular vein with a scalpel. Then using the forceps and the clamping tube to both veins. Ah, uh, all right. I wonder if I have to pick up the other object first, too. There's the tubing. Moisturizing cloth. Yeah, we'll pick this up. All right, so maybe we have to be on the other side? No, it's just showing us right there. I think a lot of it right now is me just figuring out what the heck I'm even doing. Should be fine with the scalpel. I can't use that here. I guess they just want me to aim with it. So yeah, this is the part that I think you can't do. I'm trying to just see how you would do it on the controller. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay. You just have to, okay. I think we figured it all out. Using items. Some items need to be used directly on the body. To use an item, open quick inventory and select the item needed. I should have actually just took, taken the time to look at the controls in the menu. All right, so we should be using the tubing, right? I'm missing something. Hmm. What did they say we're missing? Ah, uh, the forceps, okay to clamp the tubing. Right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. There's been like little jump scares, but cheap tricks for now. All right, use the tu tubing. Next thing. Engage pump and let the body drain. All right. Pull the lever. <laughs> Being the boss watching me. Oh, he's hard judging me right now. Are you kidding me? But I do think I have all the controls. I think we're good. Cage pump and let's body drain. Turn off the pump, remove tubes, and close and go. Okay. To close it, we're going to need... I think I already have the needles. All right. So she should be fully drained. Let's get back in there. Close up that. Do a little back brand new brand new <laughs> rita and rita and what's up welcome in i don't think i'm gonna be eating for a little bit i am yeah unleashed you are honestly crushing it because i could never <laughs> could never do this it would be the smell too very heavy with the smells 
No, now that we dealt with the hardest part of the game, which is the controls for me. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid, then insert into the abdominal cavity. All right, let's go grab that. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. I'll get... No. I'm not the only person that saw that, right? Look at the light. You didn't see that? You did not see that? Uh-uh. There was a face right there. There was definitely a face right there. Look, sir, I will bring Dunkin' Donuts tomorrow. I got you. All right, let's grab this bag. Reservoir bag, large item, and then are any of these not large items? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Shaw City, thanks for the follow. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. I'm, I'm feeling very off today, but I think now that I, now that I have the control do controls down, I'm less frustrated. Mm. All right, let's see. Moisturizing wipe as well as a large item, so we can't pick it up yet. I, now I'm like wanting to see something just because I know I'm not the, I'm not imagining this. No, sir. All right, cavity bag is filled. I need to look at the filling the body cavities. Insert the trocar until it stops to begin with the flow of embalming fluid. Once the cavity is full, pull the trocar back, rotate it, then reinsert it until the reservoir bag is empty. All right, so we're going up and over at the same time. Mm. Mm. Stud Muffin, what's up? Welcome back in. It was just the wind. No, I think it's, I just, this is like a lesson to me to take the time. Like if I'm struggling to figure out how I'm supposed to navigate doing it, the game, then I should just look at what the menu's telling you to do, you know? Because it would have showed all there the things we we're supposed to do. I know that face is around here somewhere. Okay. Hmm. So we have the clipboard. There's one last item, so let's just pick that back up. <laughs> it's a filter, actually. Yeah, it's all a filter. Mix cleaners in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into the embalming pump. Apply moisturizer to the facial features. All right, I'm not going to grab the moisturizer yet because we might need the our other hand to carry the mixture. It's watching me. Yeah. And also, why have I been marked for death? Why not the boss? Cleaner base. Why is it me? Flow clean. I can't hold anything else. Take my strong. <laughs> oh, wait. Not the cleaner base. I can't hold anything else. Oh, okay. I guess that's all I needed to do. That's not it. Hmm. Let me see real quick. All right, so we have the tank cleaner. Yeah. Hey, listen. Then pour it in. All right, so we're going back and pouring it in. Ah, uh, I saw something. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Sorry, I just missed that. I saw it when I looked at you. I thought I imagined it for a second. I did. Jeez. You know so... Obviously, it's your job, but that's impressive how you remember all of that. You said you've been doing it for a while, though. Five years. I knocked over the vase. It wasn't him. I knocked over the vase. Yeah. All right. Mix the cleaners. Create the tank cleaner. Then pour in the embalming fluid. So that's good to go. Oh my gosh, that was so satisfying. Uh, I got to watch the check mark happen. <laughs> Why is that oddly so satisfying? All right, moisturizer. Ma'am, uh, give me a second. 
Mm. Moisturizing. Move the wipe across the facial features while holding down. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing it the right way. Just a little clean. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Did I do that uh, poor of a job? Are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Okay, that's right. I This is a great reflection that I'm still, like, learning, you know, y'all? I'm just learning right now. I'm still in my... Estella, what did she say? We've been here for a week? Go Keep ahead. resume updated. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. Yeah, but what about... I applied the moisturizer. Where's my check mark? Okay. Sorry. Keep resume updated. I don't think I can put this job on the resume. I don't want to go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they like go through the process of doing your W-2. <laughs> All right, that was a mess, y'all. I don't know why I struggled so hard with that, but I think weird. we've got it. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, She's I already know. imagining it. It wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. That is a horrible flavor. Would, right? Who makes a caramel apple so, flavor? That's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. He did not mean it. He just said it to get me out of the building. Oh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I it's wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. I'm just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. Of course. So well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You are doing me a huge favor. Do I get overtime for this? Is there like a nighttime pay? Rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. I keep looking at That's the window. Uh, like thank I you. feel like well, I'm on my way right window. now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Magic Bye. Mike, welcome back in. Oh. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. My friend See? stayed on the line? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go, like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Uh, where are my keys? I know, Jink. <laughs> There's a part of me that really likes, uh, I don't know, it's really satisf satisfying to see the check marks happen on the items. Uh, I have to change that. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Uh, why are there drawers on top of the TV panel? Wait, wait, where are you talking about? Also this TV. Wow. You love to see it. Plant boy, welcome back in. So there's Gma. Let's explore everything we can in here. Anatomy. Those are my keys, but I don't want to grab them yet. Yes, normal things to have in your home. <laughs> Using my bathroom? Read today's edition of Embalming. Embalming for dummies. What? Wait, that's fantastic. We're sticking to one song and one song only because that's all we have in the budget, y'all. That's amazing. <laughs> Death and decay. God, you'd think Edgar Allan Poe's home was like this. Jeez. Uh, this is a nice... Okay. So... This is a really like efficient use of space. I always talk about this, but I'm always impressed by Ikea. They turn in the smallest little places like this. Like this is cool. This is all you need. You don't really need a whole lot, you know? 
Does that turn into the bed, I'm assuming? Or is this the bedroom? That's the bathroom. That would be the door out. So yeah, I guess this is like... Oh, no, 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 no. It's a, um... I think that bookshelf turns into the... What are those called? Sponsored by... <laughs> the TV positioning. It's pretty much set to only sit in the corner spot, I feel like. Prepping to do makeup for slasher films. I said that freakish. I was like, I actually think next Halloween I might see if I can volunteer to like do makeup looks for scary parks or something. I don't know. Also, whoever just followed, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Murphy bed, yes. <gasps> That's a nice toaster, you guys. Look at her knife selection. <gasps> and little red tea kettle. Oh, we can actually open. Those are really long forks. There's something unnatural about those forks. I don't like that. Not today, Satan. Deluck, what's up? Welcome back in. <laughs> no, I haven't done Michael's victim yet. I guess that is a look I could do. The only issue is if you're a tall person, the microwave on the bottom, that's pretty rough. Let's see if we can open the fridge. <gasps> are those SpaghettiOs? Wolfios. Wolfios! I missed these first time. Looks like it's after its expiration date. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> wait, wait, what does it say? There's food in here. I kind of like that the devs... I mean, I think it's funny, like, everything that they threw in here. Like, they specifically made a joke out of some of it. Luna bits. Heart good. Kind of tastes like leaves with sticks. <laughs> the Luna promise. This just makes me think of, um, if you're ever in the grocery store, look at the, I love looking at the off-brand names for things. You know how there's like oats and more or something by Cheerios? I think that's the Food Lion brand, but it's like oats and stuff. What is the stuff? What is the stuff? Moth Bomb cereal. It's insanely sweet. You know it's a sweet cereal too when there's a maze or some kind of puzzle on the back of the box. Okuos? Okuos? Supposedly doesn't have bees in it, but they can Oh, it's like Cheerios. <laughs> but they keep putting it in the box because it's got the bees in it. The bees knees. Okay. That's Sensodyne if I've ever seen it. That's totally modeled after Sensodyne. All right. Sorry, you got to appreciate the work that they put into these, okay? Okay, back onto the topic, though. Let's go and bomb some bodies, baby. The nicest people are dead. <laughs> oh, sports and music band shirt. <laughs> I genuinely love the effort that they put into this. <laughs> All right, got the keys. Temporary items do not take up space in your normal inventory. Use a temporary item by directly interacting with the object that requires it. Gotcha. All right, let's close the fridge, pick up our snacks, drop it up, drop it, get up. Mm, enjoy, have a great rest of your night. Thanks for hanging around. Trader Joe's tends to do that. <laughs> I like that the temporary items are already in your stuff. I think the only part that's gonna make this really terrifying is if there's like a chase sequence. If I actually have to, why are there jack-o'-lanterns? Damn, she's driving a stick shift. Can I explore around the building, actually? Gunther, what's up? Welcome back in. I yeah. I have my clipboard. I know you don't have your clipboard. Welcome to prime time, bitch! <laughs> Dude, that's not even funny, Rare Ghost. <laughs> that's not even funny. I don't know why, I think the- okay, the heart rate monitor is like really hard to show. Let me see. Uh, what couldn't the alien do? Wait, what was that? I was hoping you'd be able to see the spooky figure. Hmm. Why do I feel like- Yeehaw! I'm a cowboy! I feel like the power is gonna go out and we're gonna have to go back there and turn it back on of some sort. 
These bodies really can't be embalmed in the daylight time. Sir Rhino. Nothing. All right. I guess I'll head to the back and get started. <gasps> spooky. Spooky. Thanks for the hydrate. Mm. All right. Has anything changed? Why can't we pick up all the vases? Wait, that's so satisfying. <laughs> okay. Note. Raymond, I know you said not to decorate for Halloween, but you need to have a little fun in your life. I did it anyways, and you're just going to have to deal with it. Zoe. If a oh. stubborn beast you be, I have no choice. We haven't seen Zoe, have we? What happened? Hmm. I repent. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. What? I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm, okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. Anna, welcome back I'll in. call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. <sighs> what? What the fuck? Why do I have to go about, like, my Since normal day? Me. And the possession. How does he know the possession started? That's Dolphy, so what's up? Stupid. Welcome in. Just some... Hazing for I the new girl or something. I said, Anna, welcome back in. And do your job. That was sus. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Not today, Satan. All right, anything else? Okay, there are new things. Okay, there's actually things in that drawer that weren't there before. They mostly come out at night. Stay low. I have a box with my name on it on the desk. Oh, was this not there before? The Halloween decorations? Is this not in all of them? It did say there's seasonal stuff, so maybe that's why. Oh, cool. Wait, that's actually really cute. Huh. Like that. All right, let's go about our normal day. <sighs> Pick up the box. The old key. Why do we need this the hall key? All right, keep our cool. Keep our cool. <laughs> Can I not use the tape recorder? Casper on the wall just chill. I think at the same time, though, I, I don't know if it kind of... It feels a little less scary because of the Halloween decorations, maybe? The absolute unit was one dev. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? What's your favorite scary movie? I'm sorry, movie? but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. <sighs> I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. 
I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <laughs> so we have to do this a lot. I a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Hey, Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the this tapes. This is fine. Learn I'm okay with the events that are unfolding the currently. Body. Okay. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. <laughs> Cole, thanks for the follow. Insane. Welcome to the channel and community. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Uh, Raymond's definitely not getting the best boss of the year. No. No. Okay. Keep grounded. We played Madison. That was definitely the scariest game I've ever played. We've got this. We just need to figure out this demon's name. And uh, everything will be fine. Right? I don't know. I, I Something tells me I feel a little bit safer. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to just, you know, shoot the demon maybe. Maybe Raymond could have given us a gun at a minimum. Just learn the demon's name. Mini cassette tape, a small cassette tape and labeled one night shift system. The night shift database, a computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Have you ever worked for a boomer? He's about the same. Not this level of hazing. I don't... Although, you know what? Let's look at this as an opportunity. We can add exorcisms to our resume after we finish this, you know? I think this is good. This is... There's definitely things we can do. Oh. Alright. Look at the positive, right? <laughs> the Book of Typhon. I'm assuming I'm saying that right. Typhon walked among his disciples and he spoke. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve those who truly believe. For all are assigned to the halls of hell. Abandon God as he has abandoned you. Bring Lucifer into your hearts and revel in his glorious sin, for all are damned. There is no hope for God. All are marked for the houses of hell, as all are hopelessly lost. You have been left behind. I feel like I need to go to church. I need, like, need, this needs to be a Sunday. Assuming I'm right. And he passed. Onerin, Onerin looked upon Typhon with disgust and said, I will not turn my eye from God. Satan has no dominion over the Lord's creation. Typhon looked onto Onerin and said, pray as you wish. Fall to your knees at this moment and call to God. Perhaps today he will step down from the heavens and all doubt shall vanish. Pray to nothing and behold the truth. I will take from your God's creation, take from your God's creation, the ashes of man, for it burns eternal in sinful fire. This is deep. Typhon held the charred remains of Derod and walked among his disciples, spreading his ash upon their flesh, setting the reeds in his hand ablaze. He looked, or he said unto Aaron, See now that all are marked in the glory of Satan. Of Satan. <laughs> Beheld a flash of light upon the skin of each disciple. As Typhon passed from it, he saw a mark burn deep into their flesh. One of three for the houses of hell, we all are destined to serve his higher purpose. And Typhon extended the ashes, ashes of Darod to the hands of Onarin and said, Bear the forgotten flesh upon your own. Ignite its sin and accept the true God. That shit's deep. Uh, I like reading <laughs> I like the reading out loud. Oh no, because I'm questioning everything I'm saying. Armando, what's up? Welcome back in. No, we're not wearing a hat. 
This is labeled three. I need to find two before I listen to three. Amen. All right, so. Talks about burning, talks about marks. So maybe we need to be looking specifically for a mark on this body. And Dark Star, thanks for the hydrate. Okay. Whatever. To just grab a body, whatever. To just grab a body and get started. I don't want it. I don't want to get started. I, there's... Okay. Just gonna... I'm gonna grab a little extra of everything, you know? Some eye caps. Because we're gonna grab that stuff. Alright, here's the thing. I need to go to his personal stuff. Please no tips, tricks, or spoilers, y'all. To sauce, what's up? Welcome back in. Let's go grab that key. Said it's in his personal stuff, right? I'm assuming this is his... Mm-mm. Oh, wait. Is there something in that? No, it's just a file. I thought he said that. We might need to re-listen to that cassette tape. Maybe I should... Play the spooky music. Maybe the personal filers are up there. You know what? Screw this. I'm calling the police. Fuck. How come we can't call that? Five. All right, let's listen to this tape. He's funneling, he's funneling. Until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Shut up. Okay, let's check. Start it out. Where is it? I picked it up, but how can I check? Maybe it does it throughout. Oh, okay, so it's actually in our... Okay, that's not bad, right? It's not bad. How tough am I? What's up? Welcome back in. I'm not even a big baby when it comes to these scary games. I just... I don't really mess around with demonic stuff, you know? That's like the one thing I say hell no to. And I know we're gonna have lights pop out. And at the end of the day, I I'm the one who's gonna have to, like try to fall asleep to this okay so we're gonna have to flip switches at times shut the damn door oh crap all right let's pick up one of these while we're here all right i'm assuming we have to do all of these bodies okay let's read them so basically one of these is our demonic bitch I say we just pull a body and burn it, you know? Just take a guess. Can it end the entire game if we just guess correct? Zimmerman, Morgan, Logan, blank blank, Vincent. It is totally one of the blanks. Mm -hmm. Finn, what's up? Welcome in. Shoot. All right, you wait right there, sir. Mm. You look creepy. Wait right there, Zimmerman. You know the terrifying part about this? And I feel like this is going to play into it. Is you have to back it up with that thing. You know? Like you don't get to like push and see at the same time. Like you have to pull it back. Uh, I for just remember. I, I think I'm going to be honest, y'all. I think we're going to take a hiatus from horror games after this October, okay? Oh, yeah. Me old building. <sighs> Fuck me in here. Scare the shit out of me. 
Oh, yeah. Felix, what's up? Welcome back in. Yeah, this game is great. Sorry, mind your toes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If it were that easy, we'd just be throwing- I would have been throwing the bodies in to begin with! You tell me I'm- <laughs> You tell me I'm possessed, and, um... You expect me to take my time to- You expect me to take my time to find out which right, one it is? Let's no. Check you out. Just- We're burning them all. Look, there was an- We're burning the entire building. Light the entire building on fire. Alright, let's just close the doors, too. Okay, we know how to do this. Grab our clipboard. We've Looks done it like before. Track of things. I think you do. Is it time? Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, do I need to do this as fast as possible? Zimmerman, 52. Mm. Mm. Look at those feet wiggle. No. I'm sleeping with the lights on tonight. I am. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's observe the body. Uh, I appreciate it, Felix. I do. And five sure. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community and the shit show. <laughs> Burn the whole building. I hope you enjoy the emotes and thank you so much. All right. It's only scary if you think it's scary. Note it. Notate. Notate. Godspeed. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the show. Hello? Less. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Gotta go, bye. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. How long will school? New career. Oh. <laughs> All right. Fine. Maybe. No. Maybe. It's, it's fine. Uh, what? No, I, I you're just, you're just as much as I'm just saying things. I just need to get back to work. Not today, it's, Satan. It's fine. All right, here's the thing. It's going to be terrifying. We're going to get scared. Our blood's pumping. I don't know how my heart rate's at 65. This thing is clearly inaccurate currently, but I lost the person in Madison, right? We didn't successfully get the demon out, so I need to redeem myself with this. We need to redeem ourselves. Ah! Is that normal? Is that normal? A flesh wound. Is that normal? <laughs> Satan is a workaholic. You didn't know. <sighs> Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Mm. Mm. Screw this. Put it back. I'm getting back to work. All right. This is so stupid. We got this. Easy. There we go. Mm. This is a glitch in the current patch. <laughs> Just don't look behind me. I also am... Is that a ginger? I don't know if that's a ginger waiting outside my door right now. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to prime time, bitch. All right, I definitely notated that. I feel bad, but your neck's gonna stay like that, dude. I'm sorry. It is what it is. All right, uh, did we see the chest? I don't think we did. Oh, nice. I Wait, oh, we, I guess we already did it. Sorry, dude. All right, so let's go to the computer. All right, night shift. It's wild that people do this for a living. Yeah. This is something different. I guess this in this isn't the night shift code. No. Hold on. What's the code? Strife. <laughs> I have like scared gobbles right now. Uh, well, you know, when in doubt, um. No? Okay. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's see. Name is Isaiah Zimmerman. Age is 52. Head has uh, something, something dark side. Nothing on the left. 
This on the right. Left leg is nothing. Right. Right arm has a rash. Left leg has a rash. And wait. There we go. I missed this one. Left shoulder doesn't have anything. Right shoulder. It's all on his right side, actually. Huh. What? Why did it mess up? Well, that's dark. I Felix, have a good one. Thanks for hanging fun. around. That's dark as... Great. Uh... I'm not going over there. That's not him. That's me. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> but like, seriously. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. A flesh wound. But that's not too bad. It's not bad. Strife, welcome back in, by the way. All right, let's file the... Okay. Embalming report. Uh, it's time to embalm. We're fine. Just a flesh wound. I got this. Ah, Les, what's up? Welcome in. And also, wait, I just missed that. Somebody said that they finally got... I'm assuming you finally got past the verification part. Illuminati, welcome back in. All right, let's get this done. Embalming 101. First step, close this door because I don't like it. Nope. Nope. Satan's scared of doors. This demon has nothing better to do tonight. Seriously. Lame. Wire jaw shut. Okay, let's grab everything. It's in the old cabinet. Region. Okay, so I don't have all the normal stuff that I, I have. Um... So I need the needle injector and the setting needles. I think I did get that. But, oh wait, no, this is one of the setting needles. No, but I'll have that in my needle injector. There we go. And grab those. Let's see if we can do this. He said the keys were somewhere in his personal cabinet. I must be missing it. Hmm. I'll find it. Steam has nothing better to do tonight than haunt me. That's, like, I feel like there's a lot better people that he could be working with, you know? Like, there's nothing even special about me. I needed to flip his face forward. Hold on. Can I rotate his face forward? No? Okay. This is funny. <laughs> Great. There we go. Can we flip his head over? I feel bad. Hmm. Oh, I forget what we do with this. There we go. Grab it. Okay, it should be good. Moon, what's up? Welcome back in, and thank you so much for the 100 bits. Hello. Oh, you're off to- wait, wait, hi from- ah, uh, you're at work currently. Yeah, this is unfortunate. There we go. And now we're gonna pull them back down. Moon, seriously, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day at work. All right. He's smiling for the picture. Well, All right. Guy, huh? You know, this would be a little less terrifying if Raymond was, like, outside of the window, like, talking me through it, you know? All right, so next thing is the eye caps, which we already have those. I did the eye caps, actually. So we're mixing and bombing fluid. Do I already have something in my large thing? I don't. All right, this should be it. This is one of them, at least. All right, and then I think this is one of them. Formaldehyde. 
Should do the trick. Methanol and... Okay. Okay. And some of this. Oh, that's the bleaching agent. Never mind, never mind. Crap, I think I picked it up. No, I didn't. Alright, what's our other thing? What is this? Tissue builder? Oh, did I already use the tissue builder? Guys, I think the fluids are back. I think they're back somewhere else. Because I already grabbed the eyepieces. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Mm -hmm. I hear breathing. Autotech, what's up? Welcome in and thank you. I appreciate it. All right, the last thing is the... Mm, relatives stare at you in the casket. All right, where is that last thing? Hmm. Uh, do you think it's the... Oh, his personal cabinet. Yes, the full access card. Here we go. Nice. Um, and then we need the key for the cabinet. That's what we need. Yes, 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 yes. Those are extra keys. Maybe this isn't the right cabinet. Limited access. Is that Zoe? No, that's mine. My new work badge. Rebecca. Raymond asked me to take over restocking the rest of our supplies in the embalming room, but he's so secretive, I feel like I get different instructions every day. Sorry if it's not what you're used to. P.S. Could you ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. Zoe. Not Zoe. Hmm. All right, where's our last thing that we need? I am not... Oh, it might be up here. Nice. There it is. There we go. All right. Last item. Some software developer at a summer internship at the mortuary and voila. Yeah, wait, is, so it really was done just by one person? Because I'm really impressed. All right, that can go back on and then we can run this. Mm. No, you need the regent. That's the last piece that we need to find out who it is. So we need to open this, but once again, it's locked. Was I not able to pick up his keys? It's a secret cabinet. I am Frankenstein's monster slash bride all in one. A monster mash, will you? We picked this up. We read that. Uh, are we able to listen to the tape again? Yes, we can. I need to re-listen to this. The night shift database. A computer program combining all I will, Robert. I, one I saw it in the Discord. Shoot. The night shift database. Brain, welcome back in. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, yeah. replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. There it is. All right. Attention to detail. All right. Let me leave it. Oh, hold on. All right. We got this. I'm not about to make this another game that I can't finish anything. 3276. Praying Mantid. Welcome back in, by the way. Mm. <laughs> Why, thank you. The rotten green I suit you. All right. So we need to go back into the system. Go to night shift. 3276, was it? All right. Of course, this is totally normal to have on your desktop. Of course. Rav, what's up? Welcome back in. All right. <clears throat> this database is a collection of all my findings related to the banishment of covetous demons. The history of demonic... Oh, of the demonic and the tools I have found through my research. Years of travel and piecing together whatever relics remain have been compiled here. The navigation bar at the top right leads to the following subsections. History, identifying sigils, and tools to combat it. We're going to go to the tools to combat it, okay? Instantly. Tatted welcome back in. Yeah, 
also i know that there's so i'm missing so many messages and i know i if i missed you welcome in if you left bye <laughs> have a good one i saw somebody was on their way out all right path to banishment embalm each body with a special region from the cabinet use letting strips from the cabinet to attempt to reveal demonic sigils compare the found demonic sigils to the demon's names with the night shift database build the mark to match the demon's name pay attention to each body for demonic activity as well reflect thanks for the follow welcome to the channel and community note that bringing an already embalmed body back out to reinspect for changes may be necessary place the mark on the body believed to have demonic tendency burn that body to retort before possession takes hold so i think you are on a time crunch i think you are if you left bite <laughs> I'm already guessing that it's this person. I don't know why I feel that. All right, let's read the history. Since I first experienced contact with demonic entities, I have dedicated myself. I have dedicated myself to researching everything I can to prevent their attempts at possession. My journey has taken me all over the world in search of answers. I have found that no particular religion has a full understanding of the demonic. While bits and pieces remain true in various interpretations, there is much that is inaccurate and simply unknown. I have compiled what I have found from various archives and relics. None of this is integral to banishment, but this knowledge may still be of use. Athenian is a long dead language recorded to be lost in the burning of the Library of Alexandria, only a handful of religious scribes had knowledge of Athenian text and its spoken language. After the fires, what little was known was recorded and hidden to keep safe, known as the ethereal language. It was believed to be the tool of angels to communicate with man. Few have been allowed access to the remaining documents. I mean, you would think that if he knew we were on a time crunch, we wouldn't be having a history lesson. I feel like we need to, oh, there's recordings. Oh, okay. We have, okay. All right, cool. Uh, Satan's exile from heaven and his hatred for God drove the creation of the desecrated tongue. Antihine? Antihine? Its records have been combined with the remaining documentation of ancient Ethan in an attempt to discover more of the ancient language. Below are all the translations I could find. Love it. Love it. Uh, yeah, easy peasy. Some words simply do not have an equivalent. All right. Where is the one that translates to choke me harder? Because I have a feeling that's going to happen later. I just, it's gonna happen. The crazy thing is this game was made by one dude. I thought somebody said it was a couple. I'm confused now. Quarter letting. Here we go. When the church found someone to be guilty of sin beyond the forgiveness of God, the accused could atone for their sins and re-enter the grace of God by undergoing a cleansing of sin known as quarter letting. A priest would bless the holy blood that remained in the sinner before cutting the wrists and allowing the remained blood of the sin known as coffers yeah i'm in the red zone are you guys experiencing it keeps going red yellow to flow freely into an urn the blood would be drained until the accused became weak this weakness was believed to be the body being unburned by the weight of sin the amount was believed to be approximately a quarter of sinner's blood the coffers was then burned at the blood believed to be part human and part demonic okay all of hell's lesser spirits. When Satan and his followers fell from grace, he forged from his throne a great hall. Ah! Trev! Thank goodness bringing me back in. Trev, thank you so much for the reset for six months in a row and welcome back in. No one makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> thank you and welcome back. All right. Uh, these disciples were to co covet the souls of all sin and gather them to bring destruction to God's creation on earth. They were given charge of the three great houses within the halls to build and command their armies. 
as archdemons of the devils known to humans as the covetous demons. Uh, these symbols are important, actually. The mark of the three. The devil's hand is seen holding three fingers up surrounded by the iconic different houses. All right. We'll have to reference that later. Lesser spirits. Demonic powers limited to that of their making. No one entity is strong enough to break into the world of the living on their own and must rely on the spirits to achieve this goal. I feel like reading these is going to bring something in. I don't like this. Oh, great. The woman in white. Oh, no. <laughs> the following of various entities whose purpose is the demonic plane is to act on tools as tools to reach beyond the veil. These forces have many uses beyond those of the covetous demons and have appeared around the world where the fabric between the living and damned is thin. Of course, after Labor Day, imagine the horror. A fleeting manifestation of the House of Desolation. It's thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. This entity has the power to have a more physically influential presence in our world. A covetous demon will form a bond with its spirit long enough to reach between worlds and perform its desired task, be it spying on its victim, which was earlier, attacking or funneling demonic energies to it to make them more susceptible to possession. We just need to turn some Christmas music on and I think we'll be fine. Oh, the shadow man is what I saw, you guys. The woman in white is the only is only a partial physical presence. While it can inflict harm to the living, it is limited in its power and will dissipate quickly. The shadow man is what we saw. No, I'm out. We're done. I'm the woman in white. A weaker manifestation of the house of immolation. The shadow man is often seen as a guide, though it may also be used to spy on the living. A covetous demon may form a bond with the spirit to attempt to influence or confuse its victims. The shadow man is often seen standing out of the corner of the eye, moving quickly in and out of sight or lurking in shadows. The mimic. Of course. The mimic is a weaker manifestation of the house of the invidious. Invidious? invidiousness and is used primarily to view the living the mimic is the embodiment of the devil's envy of humanity this manifestation longs to look as human as possible but suffers eternally to only ever be a stiff disfigured thanks for the follow welcome to the channel and community shell what the true form of the mimic is behind the shell is unknown it has been recorded many times on a closed circuit television often viewing the living only to vanish quickly when seen I don't remember. Do the dead comfort you? No. No, they don't comfort me. Okay, they really don't. All right, tools. I think I'm wasting time here, you guys. Tools of expulsion. No. An entity must be bound to its original vessel, and that vessel destroyed in order to stop the process of possession. Throughout my work, I have managed to discover and establish a set of tools to bring about a banishment of demonic entities. The occupied body must be containing regiment, uh, regent, sorry. The mark must have correct demonic name, and the mark must be placed on the correct body and burned. Below are the tools I am aware and their usage, the letting parchment. Baleful regent and the marks. We need to grab the regent. Sienna, what's up? Welcome back in. All right. Other than that, uh, identifying demonic tendency. While learning, identifying. Oh. When a demonic entity is present, the vessel it is occupying may form marks not previously observed. Inspecting a body additional times is important to spotting these. Crap, so we're going to have to bring these in and out, aren't we? A body with demonic inhabitants may display sudden movements. These movements can be as small as a twitch of the fingers or as large as a full body manipulation. Alright. This... David. Manic, thanks for the follow. Welcome Rita, to the channel and community. Insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. Of course. Okay. All right. The toes. Uh. 
I feel like this was the worst game to start off a Spooktober with. All right, Immolation, Invidious, and Desolation. Easy. Fail. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. All right, y'all. Let's grab it and do it. Grab it and do it. Read it and weep, baby. But how do I- how am I supposed to get the stuff? Uh, what did he say? Did he say something with where it is? It's the best one to start with. We saw that. We saw the movements. We're good with that. I still can't grab what he wants me to grab. A quarter letting. Did he say? Go back to the feet? <laughs> nah, I don't think that's actually a spoil. I think you're just making a joke. Fuck no! Radio. I'm gonna die just because I'm taking so long to figure out things. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Uh, this isn't bad. Where is the where is the stuff that I need? In the old cabinet. All right, I got it. Yeah, he was right in my face. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go read the Bible after tonight. Okay, I gotta go. Oh. Okay, we're becoming something now. All right. I thought he said the keys were somewhere. I thought the keys were in the cabinet. We read that. He listened. We listened. We listened. In the old cabinet. In the old cabinet. You just gotta get it together. Get your shit together. I already have the key. I, yeah, I already have the key. I'm a mess. I'm already forgetting everything. My brain. All right, demons, beware. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. Go. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Okay. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the mm -hmm. process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. Oh. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. Oh, I feel like we should take one. Combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. Sigils. I'm not right now. Time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Cover sigils. Cover the sigils. Build the mark. Scary movie. Then, sir, burn it. Burn it in the retort. All right. Hello? What's your favorite scary Why are you still movie? Doing this? I'm going to kill you, Rebecca. I love it. It says leave. I would honestly be going out through the window. I don't think him locking the door is really the part that's doing it for us. Okay. Make an incision. 
So I'm assuming that already took place. Dude, this is garbage. Okay, I feel like I need to floppy pickle and make sure, like, am I taking too long? Like, is it a time-sensitive thing? Am I being a mess right now? Like, is this on me? Am I gonna get myself killed because I... Oh, crap, what am I trying to do? I already grabbed one of these, didn't I? I already have one of those. Yeah. Dark Star, hey, welcome back. All right. All right, do that. Fun stuff. Not using the one. I'm missing something. Wait, wait, what am I missing? Let me see. It's not time sensitive to my understanding. Okay, that does help me just feel a little bit more relaxed. Forceps and tubing. That's right. I gotta go grab the tubing. I do kind of want to try holding this up around, but I think we can just hold this while we're walking around. Yeah. Yeah, it's in my... Okay. Uh, so we're grabbing the tubing. Where is our tubing? That is not our tubing. Tubing? Tubing? I forgot about these drawers. That's the cleaning wipe. I feel like I should have located where everything was first. Hmm. That's why we're getting creepy. <laughs> this is why... I don't play spooky games. It's not right there. I feel like I'm going to start seeing it in my shadow. Let's close these real quick. This is totally fine. It actually is a bit time sensitive. That's why she said she was like, oh, I'm sorry that all the stuff is moved to different parts. The tubing is large, too, if I recall. That's not the tubing, but I'll grab one just in case. It is the tubing. All right, cool. Didn't really look like PVC tool and bean, but that's fine. All right, let's throw this in here. It's not time sensitive, just super strict, though. All right, let's embalm this bitch. Okay, what's up? Welcome back in. And Drogs, have a good one. Thanks for hanging around. Have a good rest of your night. Turn off pump, remove tubes, close incision, fill, empty IV bag. Okay. I think by the second or third body, I do all kind of know the, the order better. Remove the tubes, create the incision. <sighs> Let in some fresh air. <laughs> Oogie Boogie on stream. Uh, Oogie Boogie was done for alerts. Oogie Boogie. I can't wear that on stream. Like, I can't see out of it. Even when it was blown up, I couldn't see out of it. <laughs> Trivial with the gifted sub to Kaylin TV. Kaylin. K. All right, trivial. All right, so let me grab the right thing. So grab this. Empty IV reservoir bag, cavity fluid, then insert. So we have that. We just need the empty bag now, which should be. That's the moisturizing wipes. Now that you said it's time sensitive, I'm freaking out here. There it is. Flex bag. Also, we already saw the second figure. That means we're almost on to the third step. Fill the bag, fill the bag, fill the bag, fill the bag. Oh crap, I gotta go all the way back there, don't I? <laughs> this feels weird, like why put it? Well, I'm out. We're out. <laughs> I would say not today, Satan, but uh, I think it's very much happening today. Okay. Demon is totally messing with me. Can I go in through the back door? Hey, okay, I like that. I like that. Absolute unit. Thank you so much for the prime sub. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. Okay, I like that. We're going to leave the door open. That kind of makes it a little... This isn't bad. Air the demon out. Air the demon out. I can't hold anything. I can't hold oh, anything else. 
Uh, air the demon out, air the demon out. That was the reservoir. You've got to be kidding me. Hold on. Okay, that's not scary. Uh. Oh, we're becoming more clear. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's grab this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. It's burning. It is on fire. We are on fire. We are on fire. We are burnt, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. That entire. Okay. That burned out. All right. Uh. Uh. Where's the light switch? I should have made myself familiar with where the light. Oh my god. Oh my. I should have figured out where the. There it is. There it is. Nice. Okay. That's our first sign, though. That's good. This is good. All right, it kind of looks like a schwiggle. Okay, this is good. We're just gonna enter through this side where the lights are. Easy money. Okay, but we still need to do the right thing. Okay, light switch is right there. We know that. Uh, Wookie, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. A little squiggly thing. That door's closed. Fine. The light switch right here is by the door. Assuming that the light switch is on the like right side of the door on the entryway. I'm going to have to go back there. But. All right. <laughs> kind of looks like a squiggle. We are on fire. Okay, so fill it with the cavity fluid, then insert. The cavity fluid. Why am I forgetting where the cavity fluid was? I thought I went to the right spot, but I couldn't hold it cavity fluid I think the cavity fluid was where I was right no hey, listen. Mm -hmm. SX thanks for the follow welcome to the Sienna <laughs> Sienna with the donation Sienna thank you so much for the donation came for the good vibes stayed for the unbridled joy happy <laughs> spook season girly Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. So we do know for a fact that that is one of them. So this is good. This isn't the worst thing in the world. I feel like finding one symbol makes me feel a little bit better. And we were in the right spot. So we actually just have to go back there because I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that right. I will. Ginger's so cute. All right. We're going in through the front door. Going through the front door. I need to turn that light back on and I have to fill this. Summer. You just gotta get your shit together. Get it together. Where is this light? Okay, that's the cleaner base. Is there, a, there is a stuff that does cleaner. See, mix cleaners in the bathroom. So filling this with the cavity fluid. So we just, I, I have to find where the cavity fluid is. That's what it is. So we need to go back there. I liked it when everything was all laid out for me. I just feel like if Raymond really cared about us as a boss, he would have put everything out, you know, gave us all the advantages we could have. Other than the key to all of his demonic work over the past like 20 years, but that's not enough. Like, honestly, that is not enough. Was it this one? I think this is the only one I haven't used. No, that's the tissue builder. That is the bleaching agent. That's the other thing we used. How do we need to use the tissue? We never use the tissue. Hmm. Cavity fluid? No. God, there's only so many places that it can be. This isn't it. This is part of hold on. To retaining moisture. Valen, uh, Val, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. I can't, I can't hold anything else. Oh my, where is the liquid? You pour it out right here. I'm so, what is wrong with me? <sighs> All right, we got it. Let's do this one more time on a body and then I, I think we'll be good to go. All right. The cavity fluid was <laughs> Bison, welcome back in. All right, so we need to use the uh, trocar and the abdominal part. Good to go. That's right. All right. 
I hate when you add panic to trying to... I see shadows moving. Add a little bit of panic and scares while I'm trying to think about doing something and I just lose it all. Attack me with the freaky. Silas, what's up? Welcome back in. Um, It's a little bit too demonic for me. Although that being said, Madison was definitely scarier. I would say Madison was way more terrifying. But this still doesn't give me warm, fuzzy feelings. I need to grab water, actually. Get in there. there. All right. So you. Let's mix cleaners in the bathroom to create the tank cleaner and then apply moisturizer to the face and our first body's done. Nearly... Nope. Nope. Not today, Satan. Not today. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> uh... No, I don't. I haven't been keeping track of the costumes really well. They should have put the cleaning solution somewhere else. Why did we put the cleaning solution right here? <laughs> I'm going to be going outside this entire time. I do feel like I need to turn up the brightness a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. All right, so mix the thing. You've never seen me truly scared. I just don't do demonic stuff. I don't, that's like where I draw the line. So I'm really pushing my limit here, okay? <laughs> this is definitely pushing it for me. Same thing with movies. Like, no. All right, so let's open this up, put this in here. Clean that bad boy. Let's grab one of the moisturizing wipes. Okay, so I'm well... I, I definitely know where everything is now. I've got it. I think we'll be able to move a lot faster. I should have used that opportunity to grab one of the marks, I think. I need to grab another letting paper. Yeah. I feel like you need to stay on top of this stuff. But I'm also really motivated. It's weird. This one's terrifying me, but I'm extremely motivated to keep her alive. Because I'm assuming... All right, well, his face isn't supposed to be like this, so I'll show you. I'm assuming um, you get two endings. Either she stays alive right. or she succumbs to the demon um, and is sacrificed or whatever you will. Wait, let me rotate. I don't know. I don't see any demonic marks on him, but our man is good to go. So we just need to restore him to cold storage. Let's go ahead and see where we're at here. Okay, we're at the same level of insanity or whatever they call it. I'm going to start getting aggressive with this. Let's... Ah, uh, we have one cremation bag. What am I trying to do? We're going to have to put his body back, but I want to have a letting paper on hand. I also think that whatever's in the other room is probably gone by now. Yeah. Perfect. Where is it? Where did it burn? Where did it burn? That sigil's right there. It's truly a league of its own, yeah. What do you think of Michael Myers? He's totally a demon. I, I, I know, how can I hate this stuff, but I can deal with Michael Myers, like, on a regular basis. It's just different. I think... It's how it's portrayed, right? I feel like, um, what am I missing here? It might be somewhere wherever it first started burning. Um, it's all in how it's presented. Michael Myers, like, while it has gotten terrifying in, like, 2018 and stuff, it always was this, like, trashy slasher kind of jokester. So maybe I didn't actually successfully get that one because maybe I didn't get it. What is this? A matchbox? Jura. Oh, Jur! Welcome back in and thank you so much for the reset for four months in a row. Boo. Ah. I looked up at the ceiling. I thought it was on the ceiling too. I think that one should have counted, right, y'all? Uh, Floppy pickle that. That's okay. Oh, crap. 
No. Not sure this one was supposed to happen quite like this, but it makes it significantly less terrifying. <laughs> okay, um, well, hey, I'm gonna grab a letting strip. You stay there. Aries, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. You stay right there. I'm gonna let you. Um,. I'm assuming I need to move over so she can grab me and like pin me to the wall or something. It's been a bit since I've glitched a game, I know. I don't think- <laughs> Only I could have a demonic presence glitch me into- <laughs> She pushed me through the desk and created a permanent glitch. Wait a minute, hold on. What is happening here? <laughs> I feel like I gotta be in the front for this, but why can't I? I can't look back at it. Well, <laughs> get it, girl, get it. <laughs> Insert Cardi B right now. Listen. Scotland Esports, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. I mean, I guess she's just gonna stay there. No, you know the tragic part is I think it's gonna make me- I think I'm gonna have to reload. I- uh, I have to reload. Oh man. Or I can put this away. I guess it's supposed to be me. <laughs> I feel- I <laughs> You know what? I feel like this is not what everybody would instantly think. But my first thought is, it looks like she's aggressively shaking a vending machine to get the last Snickers out of it. <laughs> like, that's all I'm thinking right now. <laughs> Alright, I guess I have to reload. Damn it. Give me the Kit Kat. I can turn the light on and off, but I can't... I can't do anything with this. Damn it. Ah, uh, well, I think now that I've seen it, it feels less scary, right? <laughs> Shake that ass for me. The demonic entity when you're hungry. <laughs> I can't remember the last time we've glitched something that bad. Not that I, like, intentionally made that happen, but it's been a while since we've broken a game, you know? It's been a while. Shift one. This is just shift one? Is this like Five Nights at Freddy? Watch we start out and she sprints into us. Ah, well, I mean, the good news is I suppose, like, now that I know what to do, I could get it done really fast, but we're still gonna have to go through all the cutscenes. This is so stupid. Man, this is such a Tuesday. This is... So what time is it, you guys? <laughs> I seriously feel like just stopping here and coming back on Thursday. Like, just instead of taking- I just feel like... Yeah. All the homies hate Tuesdays. All the homies hate Tuesdays. You guys... <laughs> Alright, this is what we're gonna do. This has been quite the shit show of a Tuesday. I'm ending here. <laughs> I hate it too because I put so much time into the makeup. Um, 
yeah, something's just not happening today. I'll be back on Thursday or Friday. I will let you guys know, but all right. <laughs> I'm going to go hop in on the Discord couch and probably play some Dead by Daylight on there or something and hang out with the community. But we're going to call this the end. That put me back so far. We have to start all over again. And I know that now that I know what to do, it would really only be about 30 extra minutes. But it put me all the way back there. And yeah, Friday, take your two days off. <laughs> this is just so frustrating. Cause it wasn't even my fault. Like it wasn't my fault that it kicked me back here. And that's weird that it's last save point was that. So you have to be absolutely perfect with that. More like 15 minutes now that you know a lot. That's true, but you still have to wait through him talking through the, I guess so. I guess it wouldn't take that long to get back to it. I just feel like today is a wash and I just need to like <laughs> wipe this and come back. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Jay Savvy, thank you so much for the reset for 37 months in a row and welcome back in. You guys, I'm sorry to be cutting out this early. I just am really aggravated and I just feel myself like waning as I'm continuing on from the aggravation of everything. I feel like nothing's gone smooth today, which is life. That's like, this is reality 90% of the time, but my scar is coming off too. <laughs> five thank you so much no it'll be fine i'll be back on yeah i'll probably be friday you guys but i'll let you know because i don't want to take away because thursday is supposed to be a game night with the community and discord so i don't want to take away from that so yeah let's okay I don't know why there's What's a white. Up? What's <laughs> up? Okay, what the heck? Thank you so much for the 50 gifted subs to the channel and community. Girl. <laughs> Moon, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Holy cow. Guys, if you just got a gifted sub, I hope you enjoy the channel and community. An unknown with the 500 Game bits. Over. Wait. <laughs> okay. I never said congrats on going full time. You don't have to. Are you kidding me? Thank you so much. And thank you for the 500 bits as well. Wait, did I miss something unknown? Did it not go off? <laughs> Y'all. Stoic with the 1000 bits as well. Guys, this has been a shit show. And I do not deserve any of this. Stoic, thank you so much. And London with the three gifted subs to the channel and community. Thank you so much. Y'all, Dark the Kool-Aid Man, Darth Knight. Guys, I hope you enjoy the sub and the channel and the community. I really appreciate it. You guys are so incredibly generous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is weird, but this is I'm I'm glad you guys are able to see this because like I think a lot of people think that like I, I, it's like every day is great and everything and it's not the case. I have really, some days when I'm streaming, I just feel off and I don't know what it is about today. Zippy with the five gifted subs to the channel and community as well. Zippy, thank you. And Trivial with the gifted sub to Kaylin. Kay, thank you so much. That was so beyond generous. Like beyond generous. Thank you so much, guys. All right. I'm gonna, all right. For being a shit show, you kept it super entertaining. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. We're, uh, we are definitely our own worst critic and I'm so harsh on myself. So Welcome I really- to prime time, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate the kind words and just continuing to be here through it all. I know it was a little bit of a mess, but hopefully Friday goes off smoother. I gotta figure out my heart rate monitor because I don't think it's accurate. Like it was sitting at 60 too much. I have too many energy drinks for it to be that. Wait. Was that you? This is fine. And also, I'm okay with the events oh. that are unfolding currently. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I didn't get to see the message, but I'll go look at that. Unknown. Thank you so much. If that was you last night, I woke up and saw that. Thank you so much. Maggie isn't happy 24-7. <laughs> well, I feel like I try to keep it together for stream, but I don't know. I'm going through some 
weird feelings right now but all right guys i will see y'all tomorrow no i will see y'all friday but thank you so much for everything and as always for your time more than anything i know time is the most precious thing and you guys continue to be here and show up every stream and it blows my mind and i truly feel so lucky to have you guys so thank you for everything and i will see you guys friday and we're gonna get another good look going as well. The tragedy is gonna be taking this off. Maybe I'll keep this on for like another hour for my own sake. Ben, thanks for the follow. I hope you have a great, or I hope you enjoy the channel and community. Tiger, good night. Ness, good night. Chicky, chicky, Lele, good night. Kay, Karen Zane, good night, Kay. And I'm so glad to see you back, truly. Absolute unit, good night. Silas, good night. Anybody who was new here, there were a lot of new faces and follows, and I hope you enjoy the channel and the community. And if you are new here, Get used to this. It's going to be a while before you see me without some kind of spookified look. I do it every single stream during the month of October to get into the mood. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's look and this short, short section of Mortuary's Assistant. I think I feel confident when I come back on Friday, it'll go a lot smoother. Fingers crossed. But knowing me, I'm going to glitch it again. Young Cartwheel, good night. Snake, good night. Anna, good night. Checkered Vans, good night. Absolute Unit, again. Good night. Rare Ghost. Five, good night as well. And yeah, if you guys see us on the couch, like if you ever see me in the Discord on the couch, definitely hop in and hang out. And Devow, good night. Philly, good night. Lakers, core. All right. I will see y'all. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye, DC. Bye, Zorak. All right. I'll see y'all Friday. Bye.